Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Once Upon a Witchlight. Before we get to the ceremonial reading of the comments, we would really love it if you would like this video, subscribe to the channel, and check the bell so you never miss an episode. Uh, and of course, the reading of the comments from episode 29. Quote, I love how despite this group being a bunch of criminals, slapdicks, clown murderers, and worst of all, Torbeck, <laughs> when push comes to shove, they all genuinely care and look out for each other. Even Torbeck. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, well done, fellas. To us. That's the best. Wow, That's my favorite you, time. Who the wrote that? That was good. <laughs> For every time you call the slap dick, yeah. I'd have one election. <laughs> and I would have heard it just now. Quote, and this one is uh, uh, oddly apropos. This series is the only thing getting me through my final week at my job before I start a new one. Thank you, beautiful souls. Mm. Congratulations. And welcome. And congratulations. On your new job. Fuck them. Number three. Fuck them. <laughs> I Unless for sure usual. thought that nothing would have happened to Kremi's eyes, but he would have lost the ability to see in color. Because stealing the horn of a unicorn to look at pretty rainbows and then being robbed oh. of the ability to do so absolutely feels like a Stradania DM Nikki move. Oh. And Nikki is actually a very huge fan of the novel The Giver. Oh. oh. I actually really liked that. That novel See, when I was I'm down. telling you, for spoilers for the giver. <laughs> <laughs> Should have read it in fucking middle school. And finally, I salute you, Nikki, for your infinite patience by allowing the boys to spend so much time on RPing jokes for our amusement. And then there's the salute emoji. Anytime. We salute you. Can I add uh, one or two more comments just for for yeah. because I saw them? They're not from the, the, this past episode. This one's from Once Upon a Witchlight episode eight. Why does Mikey have like four drinks at once? First the yogurt, now the drinks. <laughs> I'm an addict in search of a substance. Zoom in on the three drinks in front of him currently. <laughs> anyway, that, oh, oh, I thought there was. Oh, more. you said well, there were more. The, one more. It's pretty funny. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, this is from Once Upon a Witch like episode five, which was like back in October, maybe. Holy crap, I'm watching this for the first time, and the mention of the Pinkertons in this segment is ironic as hell. <laughs> you might have to cut that one. <laughs> just like, you know, I thought that it was actually, I thought they were watching Root with the Skinkertons, but it uh, turns out we were talking about the Pinkertons, and uh, once upon a we can't stop it. We can't oh, stop it. That is fucking Pinkertons. Spicy. Anyway. Fucking Pinkertons. So, uh, that's funny. Uh, I thought that was funny. Thank you so much for all of your lovely comments. Make sure you leave a comment below and maybe yours will get picked for next week. In the meanwhile, please be sure to check out the Patreon and of course our merch shop. We've got a lot of really great stuff for you. Enjoy tonight's episode. Thank you. Hey everybody! My name's Gary Goodberry, everybody. I've got some absurd or esoteric or quirky things to tell you about my life and family, alright? Anyways, I'm just so pleased to be here. This Gary Goodberry in the flesh, or should I say in the cloth fabric, am I right? Or am I right? <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> the real Gary Goodberry here. Can you believe that I got my identity stolen? <laughs> and thank goodness I was able to get it back thanks to our new sponsor, Aura. Gosh, that's Aura. A U R A. Can you believe it, folks? I was doxxed like a VTuber who wasn't grateful enough for all of the orbiting. You know what I mean? I, it was a tragedy, and with Aura, I, I can count on them to protect my identity with lots of fraud insurance, and that's not all. They also provide a VPN, so my browsing is private, and gosh, you know what I mean? If anyone found out what I was doing online, I think I just would have go six feet under. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a, no one can, I know what recovered from that, you know what I mean? And, and they even have parental controls. So if you have children and they're using your credit card to spend your life savings on V-Bucks, 
It's a very relatable problem. <laughs> they got that covered too. And they've got uh, uh, spyware. So you don't have to have all. I'm not spyware, anti spyware. <laughs> very important distinction. Very important distinction. I was thinking of all of my, 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 um, the things that I actually have to, pr to get prevent against spyware. It's actually just spyware itself. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to name any names. But you know what I'm talking about, fellas. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Aura will, has got you covered. What else we got? Oh, we got a password manager. I don't know about you. This is actually Mikey projecting into the puppet. But every time I log into my bank, I have to change my password. <laughs> and that's too relatable. It's very relatable. It's and it's, they game. even say when I try to change it, they say it has to be different from the last five. And I'm like, how? How have I forgotten? Well, Aura's got you there, too. So, if you use the link, our special link, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash Aura.com slash Avengers. That's the whole thing. Do not forget the HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. You can get a two-week free trial of Aura, and you can find your information on the deep web if someone has done that. <laughs> it, and if that gives you existential dread, it probably should. <laughs> Because it's actually a very real threat. I think I got my identity stolen when I got one of those mysterious deep web boxes that all the influencers were using that was actually just filled with a bunch of decorations from Spirit Halloween. <laughs> That's where they got my identity. Oh, and this is also Mikey projecting through the puppet. You ever get spam called 50 times a day? You know, they're a bunch of assholes. <laughs> And you know, they're legally required to not spam you if you if you tell them to, but they make it difficult. Or I'll handle it for you. So I mean, that alone is worth the entire price. But you can get a two week free trial at the special link, click on it, and click the link in the description for everyone watching on YouTube. Click the link in the description and get your two week free trial of Aura today. Thanks, bye. <laughs> well, that beautiful bean footage, Rich. Okay. Once upon a witch-light hour, the sleeping queen stirred in her tower, and through grand halls past lock and key, came to her slumber dreams of three. The first brought laughter filled with fright, the second love defiled by spite, the third a world of pure delight. She welcomed these, they were her own, but soon from porcelain lips a groan, her silvery dreamscape now forsaken, to pain from which she'd not awaken. Something blighted had come hither, foul as nightshade creeping thither. From yon the grave-like curse did wither. The little prince wept in his spire, his wounded heart had one desire. A ballad from the dreaming queen could turn his maelstrom mind serene. He vowed her rescue, speech sincere, but toys would be his shield and spear. And so he scoured for one full year. In springtime wreathed in parenthood, the prince first found a toy of wood, a doll set, beasts and wild things. But listen close and each one sings. A song of child, owl, and bear. A song that calls the spirits there. A song for monsters with much hair. When summer heat steamed like a kettle, the prince then found a toy of metal. A rocking horse with ashen mane, around its neck was draped a chain. Its horn and eyes and nose shoot flame, with mighty hooves and sturdy frame, no better steed one could proclaim. He searched from autumn's harvest throne, the prince then found a toy of bone. Lettered blocks stacked to the sky, when turned to words could only lie. Deceit known to the hounds of hell, makes for a potent hex or spell of souls, of sin, of shadow fell. Through winter's chill, from peak to pass, the prince then found a toy of glass, marble spun in measured motion, like careful thought or certain notion, each glinting cat's eye seeing all, from stars beyond the cosmic sprawl, to inner strength and mind's recall. When season stopped, the final day, at last the prince found halves of clay, he shed a tear. This would not do. His favorite toy was split in two. 
It stank and had a horrid face, but in his heart held special place. Through toil this crack he would erase. The day has come, no time for rest. The fateful toys placed in a chest with stripes of white and stripes of red, just like a big top by his bed. The little prince prepares a flower for either outcome, sweet or sour, and makes a wish for love, for power, once upon a witchlight hour. What's a Bezelberry? <laughs> Derek, you I wasn't even that. breathing there to get Hi, you. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, Marty, I got turned into breath. a gun. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marty, I'm a gun. I, I, I'm going to 360 no scope you with the Gary gun. <laughs> I'm Gatling Gary. Gatling Gary. Gatling Gary. That's a nightmare. No. no. Oh, my God. God. What happened? Okay, so how did that happen? <laughs> What's in there? <laughs> Oh, freaking sweet man-made horns beyond our bone comprehension. Watch out, he's got a luger. <laughs> That's pretty funny, right? That right? sounds pretty good. That's all right. Um, but Mace, uh, I hate to break it to you, it's called Breezeberry. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get to the bottom. This. Like that's why I said, what is called Beazleberry? What have I always said? What? what have Mace, I always Mace, said? What is called Beazleberry? And he just goes, that's what it's called. I have it's called it. Beazleberry. It's called Beazleberry. What? I don't know how it's else to explain this to you. What? It's called the Beazleberry. I don't know how else to say this. There's a berry called Beazleberry. It's Beazleberry. I know that none of you have ever heard of it. There's it's very be, scientific. There's about to be a berry called this Beazleberry. This not going to be any clearer, I guess. Yeah. I'm not allowed to explain what Beazleberry is! <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be our dessert! <laughs> that needs to be our dessert! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, Breezeberry. I can't play. Oh, or she. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, free, the pre-workout powder is uh, Breezeberry. And that is Lonnie the Neal. only flavor of a wine you that I enjoy. <laughs> End of discussion. Oh, I just got it, yeah. I, so, yeah, <laughs> that was the one. It turns out it's not Beazleberry. Uh, yeah. What have I always said? I have a very approximate knowledge of many things. <laughs> I've always said that. I've always said that, That's okay? True. I've never um, claimed that. It's always so close. Knowledge. Yeah. I think that's got to be the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> we got to. We got to. All right, I'm adding it. I'm just going to ask the crowd, "What's a pizza?" Crowd, what's a what's pizza, pizza there? Yeah, 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 and they're going to have to just kind of come up with answers, uh, and I'm going to laugh at whoever doesn't know what a pizza is. And it's there funny is. because I was going to derail the D and D session by bringing up the fact that Derek didn't realize until three weeks ago that roll that beautiful bean footage was an actual thing <laughs> from a commercial, and Derek I wanted know. to query the chat to find out how many other people didn't know that because get a apparently poll? Mike didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, no, I didn't. Some, can get, we get a poll. Just a yes or no. Did you know that roll that quote roll that beautiful bean footage <laughs> is from a Bush's Beans commercial? Not does us saying that make you think? Oh yeah, right. I knew no, that. Just that no, you, did you know? Did you know that it came from? Yeah, that? uniquely before we need this to know moment the ratio. that it was a reference. Let's get a, let's get I a want to know the ratio. Let's get a poll going. And then Andy said, "Our humor in general is pretty dated." <laughs> <laughs> That needs to go on our tombstone. No, 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 we need a poll. We need a poll. It's a mods, help me, please. Uh, I don't know if they know how to do a poll. They do. We see they do. Because they poll things about wanting Scrim to get murdered. <laughs> I know they know how to make a poll. We don't know how we swim. <laughs> Vibe because I have to pee now. Uh, so I don't know if we know how to vibe. No, I don't know how to vibe. Vamp? How do you do that? There's some more us. Oh no, my God, Sakim no underscore. Um, Sheer uh, uh, dread. We got more people. We got, we got a bunch of followers and subs. Thank you. Nearly tuna tip 928. Love y'all. Look after yourselves. Thank you. Kettle Ducky with 400 bits. Thank you, Kettle Ducky. Uh, Thank you. With another 100 bits. Nearly tuna. Uh, Sakeem with 666 bits. My cat is looking at my laptop with a very concerned face. Uh, hello, cat. Thank you. He's like, hey, what's the caliber oh, on that Gary gun? I'm gonna go figure out how to make a caliber. I'm gonna go figure out how to make a caliber. 
go figure it out. Did you thank know you, before LOA you. that bean footage is from an actual app? Thank I'm you. voting yes. Perfect. No, vote no. Oh, come on. I thank knew. you. You're thank bad you for the stats. I there were less them. here. Wait, did I, you know? Yes. Oh. So it's just me and you? Yeah. No, and I, Mike. No, no, and Mike. Oh, yeah. you didn't know. So yeah. now, now, now that you say three. that, I'm like, oh, yeah, of course, I can picture the ad yeah, perfectly you, in my nostalgia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, without yeah. context. So, you know, yeah, I, I don't want like, to, like, you know, polarize this, but uh, we very clearly know who has the brain cells at the table. Yeah, right. I was actually just going to say, if it was just me and Derek, you should be embarrassed. I mean, let's be honest. If it was me, like, nobody would have batted an eye. Yeah, you don't want to be associated with me and no one can just be yeah, uh, Beaselberry. Berry. I was, I was excited <laughs> to learn about a new berry. Yeah. <laughs> We're thinking it be. Yeah. At some point in time, somebody's gonna, they're gonna find a new the berry. The fact that less people know about the beautiful beers. Come on, baby. 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 Come on, baby. Don't say maybe. Let the sound of your sweet Beasel drive me crazy. We're the Beasels, everybody. <laughs> What a great little band little with, with a Beasel. Oh, Seven Beasles a week. It's been a hard night's Beasel. <laughs> Why don't we can Beasel in the road? <laughs> we can Beasel in the road. Uh, <laughs> Maxwell Silver Beasel. That's Maxwell Silver Beasel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In the that's Beasel a, to Beasel's garden. I want to hold your Beasel. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you do. I want to hold your Beasel. I want to hold your Beasel. Eleanor Beaselby. Uh, Eleanor uh, Beaselby. Yeah. Oh, oh. Hey, Beasel. Okay. Hey, Beasel. Oh, hey, yeah. Beasel. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Beasel. <laughs> don't, don't make it, don't make it juicy. <laughs> don't make it juicy. Yeah. Oh, take a sad Beasel. Okay, if you are an artist, one of you please draw these Chuckle Fucks characters as the Beasels. Uh, yes. <laughs> so so we can have Mikey and Richie and me and Derek as the Beatles, and you can the be Pete Best. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. He was the very handsome, but completely untalented one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey. He also no, Pete Best was. Yeah, Pete Best. Let me tell you about Pete Best. Yikes. Oh, God. Oh, it's just the facts. Oh. 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 All right. Well, I'm glad I was not in the minority regarding the bean footage. <laughs> You well, were. I expected this. I yeah. did not. We're all ancient. <laughs> wow. wow. Have I told you about Bush's beans? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. Have you said you heard about Miss Going, the interview with Mr. Dumbass? Oh, that was a good one from A&W Root Beer. <laughs> I uh, told you about the Mr. Dumbass. Uh, <laughs> they could say that on TV all they wanted back in the day. Stay a while in Beasel. <laughs> Stay a while in Beasel. I don't know if our Twitch numbers are accurate, but it just jumped by 40, and then someone said, Have I told you about Bush's beans? And it dropped by 40. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that people just showed up and they saw that, and they're like, Oh, yeah. fuck. No, me. this is not the place for me. Oh, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> So what are we doing? I, well, I think we should probably play some yeah. D&D. Is so. that Chef dead or what? Inquiring the minds want to know. detonated on his face. Chef dead? <laughs> chef dead. Who's Chef dead? You, the, your, oh, your, oh, your, oh. your adversary is He's Chef dead. Chef who? <laughs> <laughs> chef Beasel B, everybody. Beasel <laughs> 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 Juice. Oh it's showtime. <laughs> that really That's actually really that. good, and I appreciate it. My rapper right name is Little Beasel B. <laughs> <laughs> Little Beasel. Apologies for the music. That would probably. We didn't. We did not <laughs> test it before we went We're live. Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> <We're> <laughs> <laughs> I'll add it to my check. <laughs> that was one hell of a Beaselberry joke. <laughs> it's like a non A24 horror movie up in this bitch. <laughs> 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 they called them the Hell Beasles. Uh, uh. <laughs> like when Derek was trying to balance the <laughs> 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 Last week, 
when you're trying to balance all that. Oh shit yeah, that was classic. <laughs> I can't wait to see that on YouTube. I think you scared everyone. That was very sudden. Anyway, uh, it was like an insidious film of James. Uh, <sighs> with that, let's play some D and D. Last week, you were presented with the task of performing in a in a competition, a competition of skill in the kitchen, known as Electrum Chef. The winner of the competition would be awarded the rights of official chef of the soggy court and the ability to create the meal that would um, that would proceed after the um, after the competition itself. Your name would be spread around at least hither, um, and you would be known as the greatest chef in Prismere. Your competition was the former and current chef of the Soggy Court, Pierre Escargot, and his sous chef, uh, Pepe Frog. <laughs> that was his name, <laughs> Pepe Frog. The classic. <laughs> in a bid to keep things fair, and knowing that it would be two against potentially six with the inclusion of Twig herself, the Soggy Court decided to get the assistance of the rest of the party by turning them into the judges using a, a potion uh, that was mixed with small amounts of witch light uh, to turn them into entities all their own. The <clears throat> walking visage of individual chefs that exist in the world uh, with this potion in their system uh, your friends, Kremi, turned into <clears throat> the great chefs known as Julia Flyles, Bobby Fly, Gordon Ramsay, and Guy Oops. Flyeri. And it is with their help that the competition took place. It was a tough competition. Both Pierre and Kremi were fighting tooth and nail to be the winner. And in a strange turn of events, <laughs> Pierre Escargot had a magical bean lodged into his face, which unceremoniously exploded. <laughs> unceremoniously. It's really dark. <laughs> he, it was announced that the competition would, would stop. You're unsure if it will continue. But at the moment, Pierre needs to be rushed to, um, to medical aid. He is fighting for his life. As Kremi, you and Twig stand <laughs> there, having just presented your grums to the judges. Man. Oh yeah, grums. <laughs> I forgot about that. And oh, the, yeah. <clears throat> the, uh, the bullywug known as the chairman has just announced that the competition is at a standstill. As you begin to hear people all around the audience, what do you mean they're not going to stop the dessert? We have to have dessert at dinner. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, I am only a king like Gullop the 19th would have us have a dinner without dessert. Oh, I know, dude. It is absolutely abominable. As the bullywugs begin to become frustrated. <gasps> the chairman tries to hush them, but the volume is getting louder and louder and louder as the few bits of um, <clears throat> judgmental ramblings turn into a multitude of judgmental ramblings <clears throat> as the entire audience becomes um, loud with <clears throat> frustration. And you see that at the very top, King Gullop the 19th is beginning to look panicked, not sure what to do, as he looks down at you almost pleading for some kind of help. What do you do? Twig, you know what this means? <clears throat> Sorry, I was eating grain number 2,766 of the rice that I... What? Don't shake me! You're gonna make a shaking twig syndrome! Do you know what this means? What? We went by Tina County! High five! <laughs> what? No, they haven't stopped the whole thing yet. They're just putting it on hold. Wait, it's not done? I don't know. How the fuck's that guy got his... I mean, his, his face exploded. I don't know, but the crowd's getting real mad. If they don't get dessert, they're gonna kill us. <clears throat> Wait, like all of them get dessert? Or I don't know. Just the judges. Like, if we feed the judges... No, the, criminals are just stupid. If we win this, we're gonna feed all of them. 
Wait. Are you not thinking? Are you, no one you, told me they were going to feed a crowd of... Twig, twig oh, climbs no. up on you and she starts shaking you. <laughs> Have you not been paying attention? Uh, I, I must have I must missed, missed something, but I mean... I'm she gonna... slaps you. Grammy, if we win this thing, <laughs> we got to feed the entire soggy court with your grums. With my, with, I mean, with one pot of grums? You're gonna have to make more than one pot of grums if you want to feed these people! Oh, God. Alright, well, um, should we just get started on that, or should we- You have a budget! Alright, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I guess if it's on and hold- there's gonna be no food if we- There's gonna be no dinner celebration if we don't figure out what to do with these people are getting angry! Well, judges, uh, uh, sounds like things are getting pretty rowdy up in here. Uh, with what with the uh, dessert portion being put on hold. Uh, hey, Julia. <laughs> I can't believe they're skipping dessert. This is whole shit. Well, you know, don't worry about it too much. You can step on up. I'm sure you've given your cookie and pie to enough people around here, right? Huh? Huh? Why don't you tell us about it, you old broad? Lay off, Bobby. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Well, easy then. Julia. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, smokes. It's just dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, if there's no dessert, we can at least have braised frog legs. Delicacy, delicious. <laughs> You're not suggesting what I think you're Stove suggesting, are you? Set it high. <laughs> Pan on. <laughs> Butter in. Delicious. <laughs> frog legs in. <laughs> Two minutes flip. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes. Out! Season. Not enough. Season. Gorgeous and probably some shitty salad that I'll pretend is delicious. <laughs> um, it's like in every single video. <laughs> I need to pretend to be healthy. Gordon, who, who are you talking to? You, you alright? <laughs> <laughs> How will we pass the time? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really loving the crowd tonight. I mean, uh, this, this guy's just got his head blown clean off, and they were asking about dessert. <laughs> dessert for dinner. I love it. I love it. I love these guys. Yeah. Where, where'd that bean even come from, guy? Look like barbarians. The, the Texas School Book Depository? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh, some hot fire in that pot. You know what I mean? Just bounce right out. I never even saw it coming. Yeah, uh, he couldn't handle it. Uh, yeah, yeah, neither did he. Yeah. Plus, plus, plus dynamite. Uh, oh, fly dynamite! <laughs> Yeah. Oh, up man. on aisle five, am I right? Oh, <laughs> oh man, I'm not reattaching that. No, no, sorry, no, not reattaching that. That guy's dead for sure. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> all right, Twig, okay. So, I mean, you, you feel like it's our responsibility to solve all of this? I don't know what we're going to do, Crummy. That guy's some sapper with him, you know? He's hopefully he's alive now. I don't know. I can't tell. I've never had, I've never seen a bean explode before. So, well, not in someone's face. But if these people don't get their dessert, if we don't finish the Electrum Chef, then they're not going to get dinner. And you hear how mad they, they're going to kill King Gullop. If they kill King Gullop, then Morgo doesn't get released. I have an idea. Okay, what? We're going to feed them all dessert. What they're asking for? Yeah, but, but there is a big competition. Shen, who's gonna go up against you? Who's gonna stop us? What do you we mean? We just serve it. Look, we 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 can vamp. This is this is an unforeseen circumstance, and Carnival of Crew's gonna come in for a very very small fee and sell everybody a wonderful three course meal in one bite. Okay. It's gonna feel like they've had a whole. They had an, a, three on, three appetizers, two entrees. Are you gonna make them two desserts so you, the, the, the judges can do the, you know, like judge stuff between the two desserts? Or are you just gonna make one? I was just gonna make one. Well, what if I make one of the desserts? Well, you can make the other, but I, I need to make a lot. So oh, gotta... you wanna go up against me for the winner of the desserts? <laughs> are you challenging me to cook off, Crimmy? <laughs> Twig, yeah. do, you, do you want me to challenge you? <laughs> well, not really, because I get really nervous when it comes to challenges and stuff, because, well, I want you to win, Crimmy. I've been helping you this whole time, and if I made my famous Beezleberry pie, then it would just be absolutely disastrous for you, because I would definitely win. You're not beating the Beezleberry pie that much? 
Look, if you want to go against me, that's fine. Otherwise, I'm happy to be your sous chef for this last one. And we'll make your Beezleberry pie. But don't you think it'd be super, super rude to be our cargo if we were just like, Hey, sorry you're dying, but we're going to make certain away. <clears throat> Who? Who? Pierre's cargo, the other chef. Oh, yeah, well, uh, yeah I forgot about that guy. Not, not to eavesdrop drop on their conversation, but uh, you know the, the young chef's got a good point. Pierre, who you might as well name that guy Jack Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> Things are not looking good. <laughs> I say that his uh, fame has gone to his head, but he doesn't have one anymore. <laughs> They're hungry. Last time I was here, there were many food vendors. I'm sure they could feed the entire entire audience. Smash gun into a pile of corpses. <laughs> How <laughs> the hell did this get here? We left a whole plate of chips. That's, that's fucking weird. Jesus. <laughs> this is like a possum dragging you in the swamp. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> Look, if we're desperate, if everybody's getting desperate for uh, dessert, what about uh, cake? Julia, you got a fat ass. <laughs> Why don't you uh, get up there and uh, shake it around a little bit? Shake it for us. I've always said that uh, a party without cake is more of a meeting, so. <laughs> Despite your insults, I agree. Insults, Julia. Julia, I'm wounded. These have all been compliments. Robert! I've been judging this electric justice to a tiny tadpole. <laughs> Look, if you get a little nervous, we can throw some electrum pieces. You know, you sick fuck. <laughs> get you in the mood, get you moving, huh? Is that what it's gonna take? <laughs> you sick fuck. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I didn't realize Bobby was such a fucking bully. <laughs> Look, man, I had a whole week, man. I had a whole frustration over here. I didn't think about it all week. And Mickey, Mickey, Mickey blue balled the hell out of me at the end of the last session. Uh, uh, all right, Twig, let's do this. Well, I would think we're going to have to go tell the chairman that there's so much going on. All right, let's says, find the chairman. But what, what if he says no? we got to pitch a good idea to him, don't you think? Well, so, that, uh, we'll, we'll improvise. What are we going to say? What? What are we going to say? I mean, we, we could feed the crowd with some kind of dessert. You and I could compete, or we could wait for the fella to, I don't know, uh, get better. Or, so you're not prepared to talk to the chairman at all? Or we could just, I mean, win by technicality. They didn't give us that option, though. You're making that up out of your own head. Well, let's go see what happens. Come on, Twig. I'm scared of him. Why? He's just a frog guy. But he speaks with a loud voice. <laughs> that's all. That's the whole reason. <laughs> yeah, no, it'll be fine. I'll just turn and I'll start walking. Hey, Is the chairman do there? Do I have to come with you, Calcum? Okay, come. <laughs> and Doug slowly walks behind you. <laughs> The chairman is standing there looking nervous. Uh, he has that same magics over his voice, that minor illusion that allows him to amplify his voice to everyone. Uh, and he is looking around panicked. Uh, you do see a few of the people who are working the show run up to him and asking, uh, giving him information, asking questions. And as you walk up to him, he's talking to another bullywug. Um, I, I hate to say it, Mr. Chairman, but it, I mean, he's going to be fine, we think. But I don't think he's going to make it back to the show, and the crowd is getting pissed. Well, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. That wasn't his voice, but it is now. Because <laughs> I don't remember how to do it. That's I'm right. not sure what to do. We're going to have to do something, because they need to eat dinner tonight. You don't tell royals they can't eat. I, I, I mean, it's, it's in your hands, Mr. Chairman, but if you don't do something, they're yeah. going to... 
Why the dude? Why the dude? Excuse me, this is a private conversation. We're just looking for an update. I mean, I don't, I don't know if anyone said anything, but we were just sort of, if you don't mind, we were just kind of standing around back there with the other competitors. We, you know, we we're sort yes, of waiting we for orders. Know. Um, and I mean, do you have any sort of idea of how we can sort of, you know, wrap this up? Or, you know, we, we could just win by technicality if, uh... There is no winning by technicality. Even if the other side forfeits? He has not forfeited yet. Well, He's I still mean... breathing. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a peeled melon. <laughs> I refuse to quit. <laughs> Are this, are this medics weeping? Are this medics openly weeping and shaking their heads. <laughs> all right, all right, that's fair. That's fair. I'll, um, maybe perhaps his assistant could uh could compete in his stead, and we could finish this up. We have not been able to locate Pepe Frog. It seems that he has left the premises. Mm. All right. Uh, <clears throat> well, let me just ask you. Uh, how do we wrap this up without a uh, Pierre or Pepe uh, <coughs> present? Do we have anyone willing to stand up and create a dessert in their stead? I challenge all those fucks and I point at the judges. <laughs> what? What? Hmm. An interesting turn of events. Ah, uh, it's preposterous. I'm here to judge. I'm not here to cook. I've already made a name for myself. Yes, we all have. Does anyone want any hard candy? Yeah, yeah, we all have. Members of the soggy court. His voice begins to boom. Mr. LaCrue, Chef LaCrue, has suggested an interesting turn of events. How do we feel he would fare against our grand judges? Four esteemed chefs who have made their name in the culinary arts. Do we think Mr. Mr. LeCrew has it in him to beat their combined efforts in a dessert? Would you like to see this challenge? A hush falls over the crowd for a moment as they begin to talk amongst themselves, and then you hear uh, someone in the back, Yeah, I do! I don't want to see him do that shit! Oh, God, it's drunk Stephen again! Shut up, Stephen! How drunk do you have to be to get them to add that part of your name? <laughs> <laughs> and with that, however, other members of the soggy court begin to call out. They seem incredibly excited as they erupt in a round of applause. Ooh. Well, it looks like the crowd is down for the challenge. Judges, uh, chefs, it won't be a competition. Do you accept this challenge? Uh, how what? could we ever say no? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Look, if we're gonna do this, uh, Julia, we gotta we gotta put all this behind us. We gotta we gotta put it in the past. <clears throat> We gotta just ignore it. Kind of like how the casting director ignored your alcoholism, your drug problems, and your sordid sexual past. What do you say? You watch your ass. <laughs> is that a threat? Or, you, or is it a good time? What, what are you, what are you uh, saying to me, Julia? We're, we're gonna have fun in this kitchen, huh? We're gonna have fun in this kitchen. This guy doesn't stand a chance, all right? There's no, f- you. no, there's no fun in the kitchen! Don't oh. <laughs> There's fun in Floppy's kitchen, all right? Come on. Yeah, we're going to have a great time, all right? Come on, Chef. This will be a hellish kitchen. <laughs> uh, oh. uh, uh, all right, all right, Chef. Could, could we have a moment? <clears throat> the uh, He nods to you. The crowd is cheering and applauding, and um, you feel like you have a moment to talk amongst yourselves. Gordon. Guy, Bobby. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I don't want. I've had a little bit of wine tonight. A little. Oh, I, I love the way you say my name, Julia. I don't want to cook dessert for all these people. No, no, you misunderstand I me, propose Julia. That we throw the competition. Say my name, Julia. Say it. <coughs> say my name, Julia. Bobby Fly. <laughs> Oh, it's getting a little hot in this kitchen, huh? <laughs> it is a hellish kitchen. <laughs> All right, wait, you want to you wanna throw this? You wanna I, throw this? I actually don't think there's anything to worry about. I mean, this place is covered in blood and bone. I mean, there's no way we're cooking a, a, a meal in here. I can make my family's favorite dessert. Hmm? <clears throat> no problem. Delicious. Gorgeous. And will it lose? It will win. No, then it we can't. A, it's not what I'm saying. It's the opposite this, of what I want. It is a ram's favorite dessert. <laughs> I'm a ram, remember? <laughs> 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 
We couldn't forget. We're looking at you, Gordon. You're, 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 you're a ram person. We can't forget that. Yeah. We looked at you, and we are reminded of that fact. Yes, one of your eyes is pointed at Bobby, and the other is pointed at Guy. <laughs> How do you cook anything with your eyeballs on the side of your head like that? <laughs> Expertly, Robert. Expertly. Fair enough. Fair enough. With precision. All right. So we all agree then. We'll cook what rams like best because that's most fitting for this audience. <laughs> I thought so. Let's get to cooking. Oh yeah, Julia. Let's well get done. to cooking. We're all in agreement about something. Something. Not gonna say what, but we're in agreement. Lead the way, Gordon. <laughs> Well, it looks like the no, chefs... No, slow down and look at the cameraman. <clears throat> it looks like the chefs have agreed. What? They are moving over to Pierre Rascargo's right. kitchen, and it looks like they will be cooking for Chef Pierre Rascargo. That means that Chef Granny is going to have quite the challenge on his hands. And the question is up in the air. Who is going to judge this competition? We'll find out after this break. <laughs> No, too quick, come on, come on. Yeah? We, we, we have a stage act. Oh, why? Stage, stage talk, just for, for the camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 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 Welcome back to Platinum, <laughs> Platinum Electrum Chef. I am your host, the chairman. <laughs> we have the greatest cooking showdown of all time here at the Soggy Court. In our right kitchen, we have the chefs Bobby Fly, <coughs> Gordon Ramsay, Julia Flyles, <coughs> and Guy Flyeri. Oh, and they are challenging our new up and comer, Chef Cremy LaCrue and his assistant Twink. What will they create for you today? We have, during the break, found a new judge sitting up in the box next to the one and only King Gullop the 19th. We have Bavlona Blightstraw. <gasps> <laughs> oh, fuck. What an honor. <laughs> Seriously, Ooh. big honor. <laughs> now, let the games begin. All right, we're going to do this fair and square, all right? <laughs> no hexes, no curses, nothing. Okay. We're just going to cook better than they will. What are we going to make? <clears throat> we're going to make dessert. Beaselberry pie? Well, we could do beaselberry pie. <clears throat> I was thinking of doing just something simple. Like beaselberry pie? <clears throat> all right, well, if you know how to make beaselberry pie, then why don't we fucking make that? You yeah, tell me what to you do. you just put beaselberries in it. <clears throat> just as a pie with beaselberries? Have you ever had a Beaselberry before? I don't know what that is. Is they're that like, a real thing? I don't think that exists. They're really. like, they're like magic creamy. Is it possible you like misread the, the packaging and no? <laughs> maybe flip some letters around, threw in an L. No, <laughs> I don't think it's possible. <laughs> no. Uh uh. And then like it delete the R in the head. And got to, that's, got to Beasel. That's ridiculous. Well, <clears throat> all right, Twig. If, if oh, you can find Beasel Berries, I, I'm just saying I don't know what they look like. I don't what know what they taste like. I don't know how big. Berry B. What? You said add an R and take out the L. That'd be Breeze Berry. That's stupid. Yeah, I've never heard Who would ever name a bear Breeze Berry before? In that moment, a Bullywug walks up and <laughs> Well, Mr. Twig, a lot of good men died to get you this Beasel <laughs> 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 I have to go die now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe Thank dolphins so die. What? What's your name? Oh, it's, uh, it's not important. I'm no, just. No, it a... is important. What's your name? Well, thank you. It's Harold Arnestopel. Harold Arnestopel. My middle name is Rotisserie. Harold Arnestopel. Thank you for your service. Uh, thank, thank you. Can my wife do it? What's your name? Oh boy. Well, we gotta use those now. I'll stick out my hoof and just gently push him and just kick him. And, just... and, and in front of you, you do see oh, a, gi a gigantic berry. Um, it looks 
sort of like a mulberry, if you've ever seen one of those. It's like a very raspberry-esque. It's plump with a lot of uh, different nodes on it. Nodules. Um, nodules. Um, but instead of that like dark purplish or pink color, it's it actually looks like a sunset. It starts with a beautiful, a beautiful oh, pale Jesus. white towards yellow and then orange as it um as it um uh, as it moves all the way up to the end. And you notice <laughs> that as you look at it, there are different areas where it almost looks like sunlight is shining through it. It's a bezelberry, see? All right, Twig, I have an idea. Okay, what? We're going to combine your pie with the dessert I was going to make. Okay. <clears throat> Todd a la buoy. What? And we'll call it Todd a la Beasel. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. How do we make that? Oh, it's, it's pretty it's basically a pie. Oh, Courtney, have you ever milked a Beasel before? <laughs> hey, Julia. <laughs> Many times, while people were listening to Gordon explain his recipe. <laughs> <laughs> There's no right. music. <laughs> there should be stock free music. Stock music. Please continue. We're just going to keep going unless you interrupt us. From me, have you ever milked a Beasel before? No, I, I, I haven't. I haven't milked a Beasel before. Well, there's the first time for everything. Give me your hands. <laughs> uh, she takes this. your hands and she puts them on one of the nodules. Squeeze! Squeeze it like your life depends on it! A chain <laughs> melody starts playing. And it starts to squirt out of you. Do I feel like I have to do like one of those like oh, up to yeah. down oh, yeah. no, 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 no. You hear in your oh, mind as oh, the Beaselberry oh, begins oh, to oh, talk oh, to you. Oh, oh, this is an alternate of doing like one at a time. You don't have to close your eyes, just milk it. Oh, I'm, I'm disgusted right now. <laughs> please, please, I can't even look at this. Please, the Beasels. <laughs> That's just air escaping out. <laughs> 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 were, you, were you pretending to be the Beasel? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, yeah, you know what? Fuck it, it's the Feywild. That actually happens. Um, and so you do hear this strange voice begin to say these things as you begin to milk it. And you notice that um, each individual bezel sack uh, is filled with a delicious juice. Oh my god. Oh, the sacks? They're not just so berries. <laughs> it's a sack covered berry. Please. Didn't you hear her description? She said sack. Please. Yeah, it's like these little nodules, like a juice sack. My beasel milk. My beasel sack. It's like somebody just stuck a bunch of gushes together. <laughs> Consistency of like pus. Oh, it's like pop of the pimple. No, don't stop. Fill a fill of thy cup. You're drunk for me. The Beasel actually has like hundreds of voices in yeah. mind at the same time. Oh. Oh. The Beaselberry is actually biblically accurate. Don't <laughs> Oh, this is a nightmare. I'm all dying from radiation poisoning. <laughs> Kill my family. <laughs> Arrow rotisserie. Yeah, oh, so. Died for the peace of <laughs> <laughs> And he was a good friend. Yeah, and so the, right, great now, uh, thing, the great thing about the peace of berries is it's not just the sacks filled with the juice. <laughs> if you pull the sacks away, you get to the you get to the gummy heart of the basil. Pretty and inside now. of that, it stinks horribly, but if you eat it, it's delicious. It's kind of like a durian fruit. And it's in the gummy heart of the fruit? Yeah, the gummy heart of the basil. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to pierce it, and I'm going to rip it out, whatever the hell you're talking about. <laughs> so you you pierce into the, the fleshy part of the, the basil right behind the uh, liquid sacks, um, and you Excuse find me. that inside there is a soft, warm, gummy heart. It's kind of like a gummy bear, um, but it looks like a heart. Like an anatomically correct human heart. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Um, if I may, producer Rick, uh, yeah. for the three of us, if you would put voices of the Beaselberry on our IMDb page. <laughs> Very appreciated. Please do. Right. Media <laughs> done. <laughs> done. Uh, <laughs> the Beaselberry screams out in pain. Oh, you're saying this is the best part? Oh, 
<laughs> yeah. Do you smell how it stinks? <laughs> yeah, I smell how it stinks. You saying it tastes good? Yep. Oh, lick it. <laughs> Do it. Lick uh, the uh, weasel heart. Uh, uh, should I lick it? Thump, thump. You should bite just a little thump, bit thump. into a crummy. I'm just, I'm just gonna take feel. a little bite. It's just a yeah. little feel bit. How it's just raw. a little bite. Yeah. If you feel how warm <laughs> it is and throbbing, is <laughs> <laughs> it pumps the weasel juice through its hearty veins? Oh. I'm gonna open it up and it's gonna zoom in like cartoon. <laughs> it's just like the, it's almost like my deep into worst teeth, and I'm just yeah. a tiny little nibble <laughs> of the edge. Of it. <laughs> it tastes it tastes incredible. Unlike anything that you've ever tasted before. Uh, as as you put it on your tongue, it um it almost has the uh, the feeling of pop rocks as it like pops and sizzles inside of your mouth. Um, but you see rainbows and uh, yeah. unicorns and all kinds of hallucinogenic things as you um as you taste this magical kaleidoscope of bezelness. Fat fatality. Someone in chat said I miss him. So I should call him. <laughs> Wait, what? I should call him. Everything reminds me of him. <laughs> reminds me of him. Johnny Cage wins. <laughs> My eyes turn into rainbows, and I just start, you know, some like 60 psychedelic rock oh, starts playing. We are all the beatles. <clears throat> oh my god! It's like the nectar of the gods. Yeah, and it stinks like hell. It does, but I don't care. No, and you won't, because when you're baking in a pie, all the stink goes away. All right, what do we do? Do we mash it? Do we keep it whole? Do we chop it up? And Anything you it? want. Do it all. We'll do it all. Do it all. It's a beasel. It's a beasel, Barry Grimmy. And I'm just going to start going from berry to berry, and I'll, some of them I'll, like, rip, I'll rip the hearts out of all of them, and some of them I'll squish. <laughs> some of them I'll <laughs> Some of them I'll squeeze. <laughs> like a fucking pastry <laughs> bag. Do you see the way he is working so that beasel? I'm whipping up and, and, and chopping and mixing finely. Some of them I'm grinding. And I'll have it all sort of separated Crummy, out. You're a beasel bear magician with the way you work those beasels. I was born to do this. Yeah, and, you were. Uh... I need eggs, and I need cream, and I need sugar. What kind of eggs? Just, I mean, I need eggs. Uh, <laughs> does it matter? <laughs> oh, well, boy. yeah, because there are a bunch of eggs. What kind of one make it you? Well, no insect eggs. Are you sure? No reptile eggs. Okay. That leaves bird eggs, you understand? Just bird eggs? You all chickens in the Feywild? <laughs> I heard there was a lot of chickens here. <laughs> What's a chicken? Oh, God. Uh, just any kind of bird egg you can find. Okay. You understand? Sure. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep working. Okay. And I'll, I'll like I'll make the the the, the dough for the crust uh, while she's doing that, and I'll get all of the different bits of berry prepared in each of their little piles. Um, and then I will put a big pot, a gigantic pot, on the uh, on the stove. You should make them. a beasel berry reduction while I'm going to get that egg. Oh well, yeah. I mean, that's that's that Obviously, definitely should yeah, be like right. a like that a syrup. The base of it, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. That's right. Okay. Exactly right. Okay. And I start doing that. He's a fucking donkey. He should know there's plenty of chicken in the <clears throat> summer court. All right, <laughs> chef. What are we cooking? Come on, Gordon. You gotta tell us what we're doing here. We're we are behind. making a delicious dessert. I brought all of the ingredients mm. from back home on the farm. Mm -hmm. There's a giant vat of delicious, gorgeous, fatty goose livers. Bobby, I'm gonna need you to turn that into ice cream. I'm done. I'm on it. And I'll I'll uh, I'll go find wherever the uh, the the goose livers are and begin to uh, chop them up finely into a reduction. I'm gonna get out my awesome ice cream maker that they obviously have on set in the mm -hmm. Feywild, mm -hmm. uh, and I'll begin to prep this goose liver pate ice cream. <clears throat> Guy, I'm going to need you to look at that giant plate of pork belly. Oh, I need to candy that. Yeah. Oh, candy the pork belly. You, you brought all this with you just to judge the contest? <laughs> you must always be prepared. Yeah, with liver and pork belly? From the farm. Gigantic versions. Oh, I love it, I love it. Julia. Let's get it covered. That's good. Julia, mm. this is very important. You see that vat of beef fat? I do. Be sure to speak slowly there, Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to turn that into the most delicious pie crust. Oh. Oh. Let me have my pleasure. I'm going to go in the back and fetch the secret ingredient and begin plating. Good luck, chefs. Uh, 
<laughs> and I trot off. Uh, I start working the <clears throat> beef fat into okay. uh, flour Here's and making the most music. delicious. It was a really eerily quiet. I would like <laughs> each of you to make a d20 roll for me and tell me what you oh, get. Can I borrow someone's dice? Yeah, why don't you take this uh, mod right here? Uh, oh, sorry, Remy, buddy. I would like you to Yikes. do the same. Make a d20 roll for me, please. No modifiers? Nope. You all rolled like shit, and by me, I mean me and Mikey. Yeah. What would you guys roll? I got a three. And I, got, I got a three! I got a five. And you gave me a chest six dice! <laughs> and I rolled a three! I got an 11. Can I twist this to get a lower score? <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you were the most drunk and doing better than everyone else, I think, is very apropos. That's I do what I'm doing. <laughs> Julia Wilde. <laughs> a lot of experience uh, it, on it that It takes one. a while for Twig to come back, but she finally does make her way back. And she is, um, she is carrying a bowl full of water, and in it these strange-looking eggs, which clearly house the beginning formations of tadpoles. Ugh. I brought eggs, Crummy. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Those, those are eggs? Yep. I got them from the nursery downstairs. Hmm. I think that's people, Twig. <laughs> <laughs> Soylent Beasel. <laughs> what do you mean? Soylent Beasel is people. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to get eggs from any bird. Oh. This is clearly just, frog people eggs. I just remember you saying not to get not to get eggs from insects. Or reptiles. Or, or reptiles. Okay. I, I guess I didn't specify amphibians, so nope. this one's on me, Twig. <laughs> so you know, these ones, should I take them back? If you can put them back at the nursery, I'm not going to... I'm not gonna feed them people. I've done a lot of <laughs> fucked up things in my life, Twig. I'm not gonna feed them people. Okay. They seemed really concerned when I took them all. I should probably take them back. Yeah, I think if I did that, even the 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 the, the good Baron might be offended by that, and yeah. I wouldn't want to have to answer to that. Okay. Well, so, I just try to do what you told me to, just, Crammy. Take them back to the nursery and put them down and... No, no, I mean, you, you, you're, doing, you're doing your best. You're doing your best. I didn't know what you wanted them for, Remy. Well, There's no eggs to be so bad. <laughs> I just... Well, all right. That's fine. You know what? I apologize, Twig. I'm sorry. Okay. Take them back to the nursery. Dump them back and in whatever sort of spawning pool of Give them back to all the nurses. Oh, you just stole them right for the nurses, huh? I yeah. just asked for them. I said... We're doing something for the king, and I need eggs. And so she said, are you sure? And I said, yeah, how many you got? And she said, well, these ones were just, well, they're hatching tonight. And I said, well, it's not tonight yet, so can I take out <gasps> them? And she said, yep. Is that why the moving twig? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> take them back. Okay. You're doing great. Thanks. You're doing you great, kiddo. Me, Keep it up. You want me to pick up more eggs on the way? No, I'll, I'll look for eggs. Okay, bye. I'm sure they have some in the kitchen. Thank you for returning the eggs, Twig. Harold, their father, is going to be so happy when he gets back. Yeah. Oh, my children are being sacrificed. Thank the gods. Here they are. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you looking for eggs? Always come prepared. Uh, I mean, I, come on, Gordon, don't help him out. We're trying to crush this guy. Come on, what are you doing? No, we're just trying to. Those suspiciously large chicken eggs had to go to good use. Are they actually chicken eggs? Yeah, they're large, they're large chicken eggs, yeah. They're very large. Are they ominously large? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. All right, thank you, uh, Chef. <clears throat> Coaches. <clears throat> I want to take one and sort of like crack it on, on the counter and open it and just look. And it looks like an egg, just like a big old the chicken intentions egg. The intentions, they were just very large chicken eggs, yeah. The intention. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so then, anyway, I will go. I will finish the uh, the oh. bezelberry reduction. I'm going to start uh, heating the. Uh, I'm going to whisk the eggs and heat them, and add um, cream and sugar and start to make a custard. And uh, I will roll out the pie dough and get that pre baked. Uh, and once that's all done, I will then assemble the pie. Okay. Sure. All right, I just, I mean, I'm just trying to tee you up for oh. maybe to turn it over to what they're doing. I mean, I'm happy to keep going. Keep going. All right, well, okay, Twig. 
This is where you come in. Twins not even there. Man, she's really taking a long time. <laughs> she got those eggs in like 10 seconds flat and she's been she gone eventually for comes minutes. back. Oh, hey, twin! I got different eggs for you! <clears throat> Did I tell you to get different eggs, Swig? Nope, but I wanted to go above and beyond for my new pal, Creme La Crew. All right, what kind of eggs you got? Did you know there's a bird called a chimkin? A chimkin? Yeah. I've never heard of a bird called a chimkin. Yep. And you got eggs of the bird called chimkin? Yep. We'll hand them over. Here we go. Gee, hands you just a couple of regular sized chicken eggs. Oh. This is perfect, Twig. Well done. Yeah, you know where I found them? I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, okay. No, you can tell me. You can tell me. I went to the kitchens. All right. And I went into the into the ice chest. Yeah, and, and they had like a, like an egg drawer, and yeah. you got them out of there. They even like... set on their eggs for cooking. <laughs> for cooking. Yeah, because once I realized you wanted the eggs for cooking and not for hatching, I went to the kitchen. And then they said like grade A and like extra large or maybe yeah. large. Yep. It said really really expensive due to inflation. And I thought, oh well, we're friends of the king, so I took him. Fucking inflation. Don't Fee, mind. Feeland's best. <laughs> Alpha and Omega 3. <laughs> uh, this is perfect. Thank you, Twig. You're welcome. Uh, you should really be careful what you tell people sometimes, though. I should be more careful and precise in my language. Did you know there are no eggs and beetle berry pie? Well, I mean, you told me to do just sort of improvise. Uh, I didn't say that. I thought you wanted me to make the pie. I offered for you to make the pie. Look, if you know, if you know how to make pizza berry pie, we can stop right now. We can start over. I made the best pizza berry pie in all of my inn. All right, well then you make the pizza berry well, pie. Well, you already started it. It's already in the oven. Well, I got the reduction ready for so you. I got the crust ready. I can't blame for Fine, we're gonna throw the custard out. All right, that was my one addition. My one improvisation. Why did you leave this after everything we've been? A little bit of tata a la buoy, just like me ma used to make. Well, I'm not your me ma. I'm twig. No, you ain't. No, I'm not. You ain't my Mimo. No, I'm not. I'm Twig. <laughs> no. Tell me what to do, Twig. I can't tell you what to do, because you already put the pie in the oven. No, I didn't. What are you talking about? I didn't assemble the pie. It's all ready to go. Well, then what's the oh? <laughs> yeah, it is right there. I mean, the pie's in the, it's pre-baked. Well, it's I'm oh. feeling very tired because I walked to the nursery, That's fucked right. up, and then I walked to the kitchen. And so now I would like to not make this pie. <clears throat> well, then you just tell me how to make Beezle Bear pie, all right? I thought you were going to make Tartle Pooey. Well, I was going to make Tata a la... Tart a la Beezle. That's what it's called, right? Okay, Beezle. well then do it. All right. Okay. All right, then. Okay, then. All right to that. I don't know why I'm so mad at you right <laughs> now. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Look, it was just a high stress environment. It was a big you know competition. what I think it is? <clears throat> I think what is? Well, I'm mad at you. What, what, why, what? We're going up against four people. That's double us. But they got something. Oh, we, we got don't something. Have, I know. <laughs> Two more people. Well, look, they got people and they got credentials, but we got something that they don't What's have. That, Krimi? And are willing to part with. What? Drugs. <laughs> what do you mean? I think the mason jar of the witch's brew. I think the shots of witch's brew. I got a lot left. I've just used a sprinkle before. We using the whole damn thing. Oh my god! You want to put the whole thing in the in the Beezleberry pie or tar thing? Tar on the Beezleberry pie. Can we, Creamy? Can I ask a favor? Yeah. Can we call it tart all the Beezleberry pie? Of course, we could call it tart a la beezle bear pie. Okay, that makes sense, because if we're making a tart, then we would need to use eggs in the tart part. Well, it's just fancy. It's just a pie. That's all it is. It's just fancy. You know, if you put an E on the end of tart, it's even fancier than if you leave the E off. Oh, the E's definitely there. It's got to sound a fancy oh, part. Can you put an exclamation point at? No. We can put a new loud or an accent yeah, somewhere in the there. Thing. Yeah, and they'll pay twice the price for that. Why do you think that one guy keeps hitting on that weird drunk old lady? <laughs> uh, they are. <laughs> 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 I wasn't gonna say anything, but after this is all over, those two are fucking. Who will be? I don't know much, but that I do know, Jake. I didn't wanna say this, but I think they've already did it. 
you see oh, him? You know. yeah. Do you know the way she calls him Bobby like that? Yeah. I don't think that's the only time she said it. And she, he was Robert, and he, you know, she got a little upset, but a little aroused, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Well, you know, when we're together, they call me Bobby, but I call her Bobbin. That's pretty funny. <laughs> This liver ice cream? Yeah, uh, just to put in perspective how this is going, uh, somehow this is worse than them, and they tried to cook people in eggs or something, feeding them their own kind. Yeah, this isn't going well over here, pal. <laughs> this ice cream's looking, looking a little rank. There's a little bit of infighting happening over there, but this is not going well at all. <laughs> You'll hear a voice from the kitchen as I'm just rustling around. No! <laughs> Don't give up! Keep staring, Donkey! Him. We lost him. He's in the trenches. Yeah, I couldn't find any uh, wash to candy this uh, pork belly, so I just spit on it a bunch. And, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, so it would apply, you know, all the all the sweets. They may have all of the fancy ingredients, but we have something that they don't have. <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> This ice cream looks like shit. This isn't looking good. I don't know what, but the liver ice cream? I mean, I know I should have tried to say something, but, you know, I didn't want to argue. And with the color of the liver, it does actually look like shit. It looks like somebody <laughs> defecated in a bowl. What are we going to do? Trust the Ramsey recipe. Keep going. Uh, all right. Keep all going. Right. Don't right. give me your apron. I'll keep churning this uh, ice cream. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to salvage this. Uh, can mousse. you roll a d20 for me and you roll one as well as you continue to work on it? No, no. When it comes to plating, I would like to get to the judges and everyone else before <laughs> any of these fuckers do. <laughs> Nine. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, oh, God. <clears throat> you know, Crummy. Yeah? I think that... I've been really coming down off of that high. And yeah. I think that's part of the reason that I've been so messed up. No, Twig, you haven't been messed up. You've yeah, been right. I try, I try, I tried to bring you cat baby. <clears throat> well, you did. You tried to bring I didn't know you were going to cook them, though. But anyway, that's not the point. Right. I don't think drugs are what's going to win this for us. You don't think so? Uh-uh. You think what we got? Well, you think we have what it takes to win? Yeah. Because I think when when it comes to bacon, it's about the love that you put into it. And you love your Mima. And I love my inn. And I also love you and the rest of the guys. And so if we just put that amount of love and energy into this pie, then I think we could win this thing, Remy. You're right, Twig. I don't you know? think we need those drugs. Your grums didn't need those drugs. You crumbs did great. Crumbs did great. Yeah. Take a persuasion check. Okay. I'll put that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Neil. Okay. 
<laughs> wow. Nice. Oh, God. No, sorry, I, I lied. 23. I do love my Mima. Yeah. And I love you, Twig. Thank you, DM. I'm a good cook. You are a good no, cook. No, I'm not a good cook. I'm a damn good chef. Yeah, you are, and Kremmy. so are you, Twig. Yeah, me too. I'm actually just a baker, but yeah. We don't need these drugs. No, we don't. Just like our teachers always said, huh? they make us fools, right? Yeah. And and then we d don't go to school, right? No. I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway, we're going to make the pie. <laughs> it's going to be delicious. Frogs will make you croak with a picture of a frog. Is that what they say in the Fae Wild? That's a lot of... Actually, there was this place when I was going to school. There were these people that came called Dare. Dare not to do drugs. And they had a competition for a t-shirt where if you drew a cool picture and it was awesome, they'd get you a t-shirt. And I drew a picture of a frog and a tombstone that said, Drugs will make you croak. And I got second place and I want a t-shirt. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a true story. <laughs> Cut to the other side of the kitchen. <laughs> Julia, we need more drugs. Stop bogarting that shit. Put it all in. Do not skip on this shit, okay? We'll buy, you, we'll buy you more drugs later. <laughs> they must have spent a lot of fatal, you know, bucks or gold pieces, whatever you got on that program, huh? I don't know, to be honest. But what I do know is it didn't work. I still lick frogs. <laughs> but... I personally, God damn it. <laughs> but I personally believe that that was a choice I had to make for myself. My name's Twig, and I'm a frog licker. But I'm not. I'm not gonna squeeze frogs into this pie. Well, that's okay, Twig. I mean, you are you're one, an adult. You, I want to keep those frogs to myself. You get to you get to make your own choices, and we, you know you're what we call a functioning addict. You know, as long it's only a problem if you can't function in society. And, Krimi, I'm running in. You do. Yeah. While high on frogs. <laughs> That's impressive, damn when it. When I committed various war crimes, I hadn't even licked a frog that day. Wow, you were you know you were probably I did going that through. Sober. I mean, might have been like a little bit of withdrawal symptoms going on. I don't think so. I haven't not licked a frog long enough to withdraw. <laughs> I'm not too familiar with how the biology of frog looking works, but what I'm saying is, and she reaches out and grabs your hand. We've got this, Grimmy. We do have this. Twig. We don't need no drugs. For me, Ma. For me. The talent you... was inside of all of you the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Just people, Barry. Chef, bring it in. Come on, come on. We gotta, get, we gotta get a team here. Let's get all the hands in here. Come on, chef. Come on, chef. Oh, very all right. Sleepy. Remember, drugs are really exciting. Dare to be cool. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three. Cool. One, two, three. Drugs, drugs are really exciting. Let's go. Let's go. Let morale drop. Come on. Ooh. I will Ooh. assemble the pie. I'll mix the. Please uh, roll. A, I roll a d20. Um, and for this one, I will have. Uh, I will have uh, uh, the leader of this, uh, Gordon Ramsay. I'll roll be plating and rushing over as stealthily as I can to the judges. Just one judge. Ooh. Oh, one judge. Fifteen. Just straight. Not bad. Come on. Come on. Not bad. Do I get a little bit of uh, inspiration because the twigs helping me? Or? <laughs> That sounds like a bad rule. He did just have a uh, heartwarming chat. That um, is very hard. Yeah, you warming. know what? Well, I was part of the heartwarming chat. That feels like cheating. You could use a twist if you want to. Let's twist it. Okay, I'll twist it. Fifteen. Oh! We got a showdown here, boys. Heads up. I like that. That was nice. You played up the tart a la Beezleberry pie, and you played up your concoction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As you begin to make your way towards the judge's table, where there had been originally four seats, there is now only one large toadstool seat, and Bavlorna, with three lornlings around her, as she looks out at you, her mouth opens uh, incredibly wide as she unhinges her jaw and her large tongue flops out of her mouth and begins to lick at her lips. They are dry and cracked Ooh. as she That's looks at you with a, uh, with a partial smile. Um, and she waits for you to bring the desserts <clears throat> to her. 
I will trot up, as I'll have a plate. The Ramsay's favorite dessert. Grass. <laughs> From the evening fields. The southern meadow. On the side of the hill right beneath the willow. Thank you. It's a loser plate of grass. AC <laughs> <laughs> steps back. What happened to the rest of the food? I'm still churning ice cream. I'm like, Gordon, what the fuck? The pie's almost done. Break her. <laughs> Did you get into the drugs? What happened? Yeah. Did you even know what was in the oven? I mean, we're taking this out. Oh, oh, it was what? a distraction <laughs> to an excellence. Brain Supreme. Wait, but what about all the drugs? I mean, I thought we were going to get so oh, 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 we, we, we are fucked. <laughs> Uh, Bavlorna looks down at the grass and her smile widens as her tongue, uh, though, it fl- though it has flopped out of her mouth, she moves it with dexterity as she laps up some of the grass and begins to chew. Her mouth open as she chews, all of the n- mouth noises heard audibly throughout the, uh, the auditorium, uh, or the studio here. Um, she swallows down a large gulp and picks up a, um, a goblet of a bubbling swamp water and drinks it down. That was delicious for a bit of grass. <laughs> but it could have had more. There was not enough sliminess. It was too dry. That is where our next course comes in. Bring the drugs. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> Julia, and then I'll kill him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, 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 just wash it down with this. And it's just like a collection of pills and powders. It is a two pot dish. <laughs> <laughs> Just like an old needle, like this tilted up the, the side. Evening, this is the evening dew from the morning for you. <laughs> Her tongue laps out, and she she takes up a scoop of what is clearly crushed up pills, a syringe, um, mm-hmm. some uh, <laughs> some <laughs> yes. and she swallows it down with a gulp before taking a swig of her uh, her goblet of swamp juice. Uh, that ought to do it. It is very bitter, and I. <coughs> She coughs up a bit of a bit of glass, and she begins to crunch down on it. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. So this is something I could see my Lornlings liking. This is not something that Lorna likes herself, and it's not something I think the residents of the Soggy Court could eat. I do have quite the constitution for the trick you like to play. I like it. I will give it an 8.5 out of 10. Oh, no, you snuck drugs into our dish! Unbelievable! Still trying to lose, God. Do you think there are enough drugs to serve all these people? I'm trying to win! Second place is the first loser! No! And let's be serious, Julia. We know I got enough drugs to kill an elephant. There aren't enough drugs in prison. She pushes um, things away, and you hear under her breath as she says, "They should have. They should have stuck with the grass." Oh shit! Mm. <laughs> you second guessed yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Judge. <laughs> <clears throat> what to do, Miss Blatstraw? It's a pleasure to see you again. She nods and smiles to you. To cap what off. What have you brought for Mother Lorna? To cap off this evening's. Uh, events, we should say. Uh, we have prepared something simple, but delicious. Harkens back to our homes, our families, our origins. Uh, it's a specialty from the end at the end of the road. We call it Meemaw's Tart a la Beaselberry Pie. And I'm gonna put it down, and it's just like a, you know how like you can never really get a pretty slice of oh, yeah. like those fruit pies. They're always kind of sloppy. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. It's like the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just one of those. It's like a, it's like a big wedge of that. Um, it's not very attractive. Uh, the, you know, the the extra crust was I sort of like 
pushed it over onto the on top of the it pie. It has a Beezleberry crumble on yeah, the top. Yeah, and then there's still a crumble on top. There's a, there's a little wow. bit of crumble with some um, <laughs> crumble made. Uh, with some you know extra sugary, flowery bits, whatever that's called, streusel. Uh, if you get top. real close, you can hear. <laughs> And then for and garnish, true, yeah. one <laughs> gusher-looking anatomically <laughs> correct human art. This looks delicious. We will see how it tastes. And she she reaches out and pulls the plate closer. As her tongue wraps around it, she takes the entire um, juicy mess of, of pie, of tart, a la bumbleberry pie, and tosses it into her incredibly large, open, frog-like mouth. Uh, you see her teeth um, are slightly serrated towards the back as she begins to chew uh, loudly and ferociously on this thing. Um, and she swallows. She looks at you with a with a smile. I can taste the love you have for your Mima. There is a bit of your own heart in this dish. I'd say so, Chef. And in the Feywild, that is important. For many reasons. Uh oh. <laughs> I see. Consuming a magic like this is valuable. <laughs> I will give this a 9.5 out of 10. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it! Yes. <laughs> Son of a bitch! The, oh, I love it! Uh, yes. The crowd absolutely goes wild as uh, <sighs> as you are proclaimed the winner. The chairman announces that no. uh, Chef Creme La Crew, Creme La Crew has won Electrum Chef. You are given a medal. And you and Twig stand there and wave uh, as the the crowd goes crazy. The four of you begin to feel the magic wane as the hour has passed and you begin to feel yourselves returning to your body. Not quite just yet, but you can feel yourself at the very back of your mind. Um, I would, uh, Bobby would like to walk up to Kremi and say, uh, congratulations, you're Thank gonna you go places, it. kid. Nice job. You got, I appreciate you that. You got a promising young career. That seems genuine. Wow, I didn't expect that, but thank you. Well done. No! No! I'm contractually obligated to do this. What are you? And I pull up two pieces of bread on the side of your head. <laughs> I pull up the script from earlier. Uh, an idiot sandwich. <laughs> 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 Oh, 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 hold on, before we cut the credits, I like cuisine, and I pull out a bell pepper out of my magical apron and take a bite out of it. Thank you, thank you. And I'm like pretending to chew it, and I'm waiting to like cut to credits for the cameras to stop, and then I'm gonna spit it out. Cut! <laughs> oh, the fuck does that? And I'll throw it over my shoulder. <sighs> oh, congratulations on the win. I'm gonna take this drug pie that we never served, <laughs> and I'm gonna take my teeth, and I'm gonna go to my suite. Hey, uh, uh, Julia, wait, before you're done the pie, don't put your teeth back in. I'm gonna follow her. And it is. So I feel bass like. And it is. It is at this time that the audience files out and uh, about an hour later uh, Torbeck and Frost come back to the uh, to the, <laughs> to the studio oh, um, and no all of you have of returned that. to yourselves do we have any memory of that? yeah oh, <laughs> oh. Can we spend all of our twists on now? That's gonna scar Torbex severely. Oh my god. I still oh. got some drugs left. I still have Julia's memories. <laughs> you did remember to burn all of the Beezleberry seeds, right? They'll turn into horrible nightmare abominations if you don't. Yeah, that's true. I didn't. How long does that take? Oh. Well, where are they? Oh, gosh. Hopefully they haven't made it to the nursery by now. <laughs> <laughs> I left them in the trash can and I run back and I see like a gooey trail. <laughs> and, and now the campaign turns into John Carpenter's The Thing. <laughs> oh, no. Wait a minute. 
Santa Claus, didn't you just leave? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Java. I think all of those ingredients were like people animals. <laughs> oh, like humanoid animals? Like a human goose and a human pig and a human... Yeah. Well, look, we don't have to think about that. All right, it's over. We won. I look around and I see if I can spot Babylon. You look still... around and you can see that she has clearly already left. Mm. Ah. Um, the uh, Gullip the 19th has left. Um, it was it was very clear that the audience was making their way to dinner. Um, that you were supposed to be providing dinner. Um, I would say for the sake of brevity, uh, you had been told that it was your recipes that would be used, that the kitchen staff themselves would oversee making sure that everyone was allowed to eat, um, but that you would have uh, you would have a table should you decide to join the banquet. Um, but until then, uh, if you'd like to, you could make your way back to the room. Uh, you would be um, you would be escorted back and you could uh, get dressed for dinner and eventually make your way to the dining hall. <laughs> hey guys, Torbank's uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> a little confused and scared. Is Pierre alive? <laughs> Unclear. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say one hell of a showing, brother. But I, I think you would have won it without having to kill the guy. Well, I mean, I overheard one of the like tech assistants say he was probably gonna be okay, but I think that was kind of like where they. Drew in, you know, once the helicopter explodes and Dragon Ball Z, you know, the American <laughs> census drew in the little guy on the parachute. Oh, and yeah, 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 and says, yeah. oh, he's okay! Yeah. yeah. I think it was just one of those. Yeah, uh, I heard them. It looked like they were trying to pick up a couple of pieces of them. I heard something about they were taking them to the Fly CU and it didn't look very good. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> did did a guy die getting the recipe for your dessert? Yeah. I understand that a number of them died. And they're probably going to have to kill more in order to get whatever these diesel berries are. <laughs> they must be very difficult to procure, but we don't have time for that. Yeah, a whole legion of people <laughs> went. Is this, this the most died. lethal cooking job on the planet? <laughs> I, I, I feel like I had a whole life flash before where I had my own cooking show, mm-hmm. and I would go to help restaurants, even though 75 to 90% of them would close within three months of me helping them. Hmm. That's not a very good ratio. Is that uh, true? Yes, I mean, that was at oh, least, wow. that's what I what I remember, but it was... Well, I guess they are a nightmare for a reason, you know? Yeah, it was... Well, as long as you look good coming out of it, it's I feel like... like great promotional material for your personality as a chef. Yeah, you can make millions of gold pieces doing that, and who gives a fuck what happens to the guy that invested all this... It is during this time that you do make your way to the room, you are dressing up for dinner, and th- that's what's happening while you engage with each other. Yes. We, uh, I will get back, I will very neatly fold up my new chef's outfit and my hat, and I will put it away and get back into my suit. Um... And put my top hat back on, and re- uh, I will remove the curls from the end of my mustache, <laughs> just to how I normal my normal pencil thin. Oh, who see you didn't see any of that? Thank goodness. <laughs> Do you have a nice nap? Oh, you got a nice sleep, and I know you've been a little cranky lately. Oh, oh, that's great. Okay, you gotta get dressed for dinner. No, you're not wearing that. Are you serious? You're just as a superhero costume. That's ridiculous! <laughs> oh, you know, I can't say no to you. Get your cake. <laughs> Let's go. Now, on the way to dinner, why don't we stop by the box where Beth Lauren left the letter for us? Oh, oh yeah. It's still there. I mean, it hasn't been that long. I mean, well, it's been over an hour, man. We did a whole cooking <laughs> show, and then there was also an hour where they created memories they'll never forget. <laughs> it's been like three hours. And, and there was also letter. the commercial breaks. So that added up to quite. There's a lot of sponsors for that show. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Well, that guy's feet. Feelings for Julia were very confusing. <laughs> yes, I, I agree. It was. Uh, uh, Tolbeck, Tolbeck, I don't know how yes. you and Clemens ties are doing, but that is not a healthy dynamic. That is not to be emulated or to be learned from. I don't care what any kind of losers in Fedora tell you on the, the <laughs> flinning that. <laughs> That is not appropriate, okay? Uh, Torbeck hears you, boy. It was kind of exciting. 
I'm in an angle of a very long conversation out of this door back. Hoochie earmuffs. Earmuffs. You know, all I wanted to do was make, make chocolate, mm -hmm. uh, chocolate chip and walnut banana bread. Just like Uncle Globo used to make. That's all I wanted to do. Mm. And then there was a bunch of shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Isn't it always? Always. Let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the box. Let's try to water. forget any of that. They yeah. throw it away with like the pot with their feet no, up the you, movie theater. You go there and it seems like nobody messes with Bev Lorna's box. And it is just as you would expect, covered in moss. <laughs> Bobby! Bobby! You know what? Please. You know what? We're Bobby! 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 Bobby!
um, that you think of your heart's desire and come equipped with that Ooh. should you choose to dine with her. That was prettily red. And that was yeah, very well. lovely. Well, that's making me blush. And the way you I paraphrased mean, it was yeah, quite, uh, you know, I mean, I read a letter. It's very gentle. Gideon's yeah. voice is beautiful. <laughs> Man. I gotta say, coming from you, Torbeck, that's uh, that's quite the compliment. Of course, <laughs> Torbeck means it. Oh gosh, well, uh, yeah. So I think it's just you know an invitation to have dinner with her tomorrow night. It says promptly 9 p.m. or somewhere around it. Oh, <laughs> so, the, the equivalent of 9 p.m. Oh, the equivalent of 9 p.m. Oh, uh, right. And she's gonna send a bucket to come scoop us up. And then uh, we'll bucket. go enjoy, yeah, so, I mean, something that's going to come down the line, so we don't have to, like, look for it or anything, I don't think. Well, we got this map, but, you know, we go somewhere, she's going to send a bucket down one of the clothes lines, we get into it all, you know. I presume as long as we're next to one of the connecting cables to the center, that will be bucketed. Should we bring wine or an hors d'oeuvre? <laughs> I think it's only nice if we bring some sort of a gift like wine, yes. I don't think we can show up empty-handed, I mean, that's just bad manners. That's what Dormex said. I mean, is Juan gonna do anything? Do you see how many drugs she ate? <laughs> she, did take. she ate a whole lot of drugs. Oh, and that and it didn't do nothing. Yeah, has got a point. She really housed those. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that she was gonna Tetsuo out, but she's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's not coming out of that K-hole anytime soon. It you know? did look like a prescription <laughs> pill fritter or something. Uh, uh, and she just gobbled it right down. What a fucking... I mean, she's a, she's a tank. Oh, yeah, I mean... I, I've never seen it. And then she was talking about how her Lornlings needed to take all the ecstasy. I wonder if that's just how they do the bath, you know? I'd rather not think about that at this time, Gideon. <laughs> We're about to eat. <laughs> you don't want to think about what I thought. Yeah, what do you know? Think about. It. I'm a little confused. You know, like, <laughs> is it like a, a, a non goblinoid thing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it like turn your stomach to watch twelve small lornlings <laughs> just g gingerly bathe someone who looks exactly like them with the tiny hands? I do have powers. <laughs> <laughs> is this a service that's offered around here? Uh, yeah, I mean, it might happen at dinner tomorrow. You can see if she. Oh, we can try the wax thing, man. She might be up for that. Back is interesting. <laughs> I <laughs> wonder oh, yeah, if she's got the, all those little, little things. I hate those guys. Yeah. You ever want to just like play whack a mole, but with like living beings? Oh yeah, absolutely. But Most not moles. Days. Moles don't deserve that. No, moles are no. cute, man. And, and especially not gophers or groundhogs or woodchucks or any or prairie dogs mm -hmm. or any burrowing critter for that oh, matter or I'd ground squirrels of any I'd kind. Smack a prairie and dog. with that, <laughs> someone Dog. Julia was prairie dogging during that entire evening. Oh, gross! A torn bag is disgusted! Derek, what the fuck is wrong with you? Torbag was disgusted, but Bobby ate it straight up. Yeah, oh, okay, we're gonna cut that. We had, we had the dinner. For the second time tonight. I guess it's time to eat. That is. That's gotta be TLS. We're gonna get banned. Please, nobody. Uh, we have plausible tonight, everybody. <laughs> it's all in you, Andrew. You know what we mean. You know the blood we're saying. Oh, God. You don't fucking know. Oh, man, I, can, I can sense the ban, Andrew. <laughs> Uh, it just feels close. <laughs> Andrew, I hear you wish to challenge me. <laughs> I go, I go the warhammer. <laughs> yeah, he descends from the sky with a warhammer. Wrote in the accuser. Yeah. Uh, surely I will win because my speed is superior. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually in a space marine suit. <laughs> you make your way to dinner. <laughs> We do. Nobody have any of the dessert. <laughs> it doesn't take long for you to get to the dining hall, but you are escorted to a table where there are two um, two bullywugs that have joined you. Um, you sit down at the table as the first course is brought out. Ooh. The Rion. 
And it is exactly as Kremi had prepared it. They were somehow able to replicate his recipe exactly. <laughs> and you, um... <laughs> And, uh, Just the one that had all the drugs you, you are impressed and I would say excited as you enjoy the overall mm. atmosphere of dinner. Everyone well, seems to be incredibly happy. And at the very far end of the room, you see the high table, which uh, includes uh, King Gull of the 19th and his most trusted knights, uh, one of which you remember to be the knight that um, was clearly in league with uh, Illic the Baron of Muckstump. And sitting directly to his to his right in beautiful knightly regalia mm. is Morgo. Oh, she mm. looks over to you and she nods and smiles, clearly in thanks. As dinner progresses, um, at no point are you ushered up to the king. Uh, it's simply just an enjoyable dinner <coughs> with two bullywugs sitting there next to you. Uh, they don't seem to be making conversation with you. They seem almost nervous to be at the table of the the winner of Electrum Chef, as well as the performers from the uh, Hopper. <coughs> oh yes, that also happened recently. Let us not forget. <laughs> yes, that was... we are quite. That was an hour ago. <laughs> that was very recent. Uh, we are quite trained the actors. The crawfish stew comes out. And oh, you are, um, once again, it is a uh, near perfect. Carl. <laughs> 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 well, if we have. When Torbett thinks about it, this has been the longest day of Torbett's life. Torbett even means when considering the torture. This is crazy. I'm glad you said that. It's been a long, it's been like, what, 42, 72 hours since we started at the carnival? This is insanity. I've lost my, the one night that we were going to have a good rest, we were at uh, Twig's uh, Cottage, and then something attacked us. <laughs> uh, Tormek still feels bad about that. It's fine. <laughs> low blow. It's a little bit of a low blow, Frosty. No, I'm just irritated. It's been long Yeah, you're day. a little testy. Right. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not implying anything. I'm not, just, word, I'm not implying I'm just, anything. I'm just checking. I, I wanted to make sure he wasn't, uh, you know, betraying his uh, his Feywild uh, pact. Yeah, uh, when, no, it, when in just, downfall, I just want to bite like, one of the heads off. <laughs> ah, you got crawfish juicy cornbread today! Oh god, you should probably oh, rinse that out. It does yeah. seem to shoot around, huh? Dormex like six feet away! What is it? <laughs> uh, it's a flat zone, Dormex. Yeah. <laughs> you might lose your vision for a few days. But... Uh, yeah, it'll be alright. <laughs> Now, Hootsie, you would, here's how you get a nice good luck wish. Now, you take your coral fish and see how he's like this, and you grab an arm and I grab an arm, and whoever gets the head, their wish will come true. You ready? Oh, no, you gotta put a little bit more. Okay, yeah, you don't really have a fun. Okay, there you go. Three, two, one. Oh, Hootsie, you got the head! Your wish is gonna come true! Sliced the arm off so she would get the hair. <laughs> oh, 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 I hope it's a very Can nice and lovely wish. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Uh, Morgo, it's a pleasure to see you free. Nine. You're not talking to Morgo. Morgo is up at the king's table, and Jeez. you have not Margo! allowed access to the king's table. Yeah. You got a nine? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, question If these dishes are all perfect replications, do they have witch light in them? Why do you think I'm having frost roll oh, on perfect, the table? Perfect, perfect. Oh, it really is the high table. <laughs> they don't have like the quality stuff. You begin though. to suck the juice out of the head of the coral fish. <laughs> and you realize that now is the time to pitch your new company idea. <laughs> you know who else sucks the head of a coral fish? <laughs> Angel investors like you! <laughs> 
You know, Grammy, I am really impressed with your cooking. I have to be honest. Uh, it's been ages since I've really uh, and seen all you of you roll d20s. For me. Enjoy your master craft and uh, uh, with your new belt and your the assistance of Twig. Uh, I was wondering, uh, just yeah. out of curiosity, uh, if you'd be open to a, a potential uh, food enterprise. You see, I have an idea. That's the form factor of the tape tater tot. Yes, you're familiar with tater tots. Yes. Yeah, I've, I've had them. Now, get ready. Because we could go into business together selling taper tots. These are tater tots that taper to a point, you see? It's the best of both worlds. When you cook them, they'll be soft and juicy on the bottom and then burnt to the crisp on the other side. There will be three varieties, of course. There will be a teardrop formation. There will be a form factor of the pyramid style. And then, of course, the cone, which is my favorite. What do you think, Remy? With your culinary skills and my uh, business acumen, I believe we'd be able to go into business without issue on the taper tots uh, extravaganza. We could make so much gold when we get back and save ourselves. Bro, who's your target market? People who like tater tots and <laughs> enjoy when they start wide and then go thin on one end. I, I, I feel like the, the it's intrinsically valuable and obvious. Have you identified a, a, a demand for this for this product? I mean, tater tots are loved all over uh, Vantress. So what? what number did you get? 16. Thank you. I gotta say, I definitely love the idea of eating tater tots in more forms and shapes. Tormac yeah. is the target audience. <laughs> you, see, you, see, uh, you two, would, would you agree? I point to the two bullywugs. Uh, would you agree that a tater uh, uh, you sign these non disclosure forms, first of all? <laughs> <laughs> if you insist. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's actually a power of attorney. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I get to make the decision for you. What was the question? Oh, oh. Oh, oh uh, if you were to go to a store and, yes. and you had a, an aisle where you could buy tater tots, but yes. next to them were taper tots. <laughs> exactly the same product, but it tapered to a point. Would you not think that that would be a, a, a much more delicious and enjoyable experience? Fanciful, even? Well, how do you prevent them from crumbling the tip in the bag? Oh, uh... Crummy. <laughs> How do we crimp? How do we? <laughs> we'll have to think about the packaging. I imagine perhaps they could come in some sort of a tray uh, instead of a bag. You telling me you come to me with a business Crummy. idea and you haven't sourced the production? Crummy. Crummy. As a CEO, you'd like to offer an apology. You are very sorry for what's happened. Yeah. Resolve this, Frost. I know. If we if they're not served in a tray, then I agree that they might fall apart. I mean, if it falls apart and this gets out, I, I, the board's gonna ask me to step down. Uh, you understand? That's exactly my point. I have to put up some fucking shitting statement that makes it sound like I'm moving on Getting to better things. So, this is willing in some fucking sort of way. These production issues will have to be resolved right away. But it does sound like we have a deal. What the hell are you guys talking about, man? You don't sit on a board. Nobody would ask you to step down. Well, Look, these we fucked up. Are sort of. We fuck up all the time! No, but we really fucked up. We have a whole lot of unhappy customers. You know how many unhappy customers exist for Carnival La Crew? Well, <laughs> quite a bit, yeah. All of them, I think. And do you care about any of those customers? <laughs> no, not, a, not a, even a little bit. Neither do I, but <laughs> it's gonna look bad if we, they think we don't care about our customers that we robbed and potentially injured. Look bad to who? We try as hard as we can to stay out of the line of sight of any of them. Well, but I mean, if word gets out, I mean, there's grassroots again. Sorry. <laughs> You'll do whatever it takes to get the job done. The, the means justify the ends. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. First, I didn't think I knew what you were talking about, but now I'm in. Right, whatever we gotta do, whatever we gotta do to make this right, I'm gonna make that happen. You Guys, hear me? these are just taper tots. I feel like this is spiraling out of control. No, we have buy-in. We're all rowing in uh, the same direction. There's no <laughs> such thing as just taper tots. All right, we gotta fix this. We got a problem. All right. Please don't yell. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. I okay, always I'm thought it sure. was pronounced tapir. <laughs> you're, you're thinking of the animal. Wait, are we not making tater tots out of tape? Out of large relatives? Oh, that sounds cruel and disgusting. That might solve the packaging issue, though. You make them in the shape of tapers. 
That's a good point. Yeah, Neo, Neo, it's can, cancel. No, no, don't take the shot. Don't take the shot. <laughs> no, we're good. It's good. Yes. <laughs> no, As it's you're good. saying this, you find an empty paper towel tube. Neat. Oh, I mean, what if we, we were talking about taper? <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Tor, tor, oh, Torbeck, which, what you got there, Torbeck? Is that what? Torbeck, what are you well, doing? You were about to make a point, Torbeck. We were trying to be active listeners to make you feel intuited and listen to you. Torbeck is busy. Yes, we were just about to go over the business plan. Would you like to join the rest? It's a pretty good lung capacity. It's not a boo-boo Zayla toy. What the hell are you talking about, bro? Uh, Can you roll again? Oh, Oh, man. Use your imagination, Frost. (laughs) I can roll again, too. That's kind of neat, though. Gricko, you you were watching all of this happen as you now take a step back as... You feel like you are almost removed from the situation entirely. You begin to observe and describe everything around you like David David Attenborough in a nature documentary. The juvenile male tape. For its dexterity, <laughs> but in many cultures and kitchens around the Vantress, it is known for its tenderness <laughs> and juicy aftertaste. <laughs> Due to a misunderstanding, <laughs> there is a nerdy goblin afoot <coughs> stalking the prey. Ah, Tobik, you're really into it. You're really, you're really just cramping my style. You're really. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Well. Oh. 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 Oh, well. Oh, you know, we actually have an empty paper towel to. <laughs> if you want to actually. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 Ah. All right, so. Well, this has all been very fucking exciting, but you're the CEO. We can't have you step down. Whatever it takes, man. Whatever it takes to make sure that doesn't happen. Here's what we do we're going to start fresh with this tape and tots idea. We're going to yeah, make it okay. out of actual tape, but we already solved the problem without them <laughs> yeah, coming okay, in the back, okay. all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all right, yeah, yeah. so. But before we go to market, we got to apologize to everyone that we've ever done wrong. Anybody yeah. that we charge for us. Yeah. And everybody, all, all the kids. That maybe got injured or broke their arm because they fell off the Ferris wheel. Yep. If I apologize, there's no other way to say this. We gotta kill the kids, all right? You understand? You said kill the kids? Kill, 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 I mean, what, you, you think, oh, well, I'm sorry, oh no, please accept our apology. No, I mean, the reviews for our taper tots are gonna be fucking terrible. Yes, we're gonna have to create a contrast in order to sell the taper tots after uh, Kremi's apology, but his apology won't hit home unless they're dead kids. <sighs> Boss, I gotcha. You have what it takes? I stand up on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I stand up on the dinner table. Can I have everyone's attention, please? It's our kind of There is, uh, there is, there is uh, an overall uh, din of communication as people are enjoying their their supper and they begin to quiet um, as they all turn and look towards you, including the king and Morgo, looking a bit confused as Gideon uh, steps up onto the table and begins to speak. Can I have your attention, please? You hear from the back of the room, you got our fucking attention already. Right, Thanks, Steve. George Steven. Can I get some more whiskey? Yeah, I, here's the deal, everybody, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to make an apology. It needs to happen, okay? We gotta make something right. But first things first, I need all the children. <laughs> The male fire genasi <laughs> asserts dominance by employing the tried old true method of bluster. But this specimen has it in spades. <laughs> the children will surely come. 
No, 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 get not these children. The children from from Carnival Crew. Oh shit, man! Well, everyone's looking at me already. Oh well. I well <laughs> I got everybody's fucking attention, man. What do I do now? Well, I don't know. Do, do some kind of trick for him. Hey, forget that thing I said about the kids, all right? I didn't actually mean that. I'm going to uh, trick for the kids. Now, I meant it, yeah, give me all the kids so I can show them a trick. That's what I meant. I meant the thing about the kids. Go back to what I said about the kids. I need them all you so I can do a trick for them. there are no kids in here. It's very clear that all the kids have been put to bed, and this is an adult dinner. Wake them, wake them up! Wake the kids up! King, we got kids here? No? Well, just, that's just a do, fucking shame. Torvik is Grammy's favorite animal! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> well, 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 uh, here's what I wanted your attention for, alright? Uh, listen, I can do this and it's gonna be pretty cool okay whatever it takes <laughs> um i grab a, a drink from <laughs> <laughs> I grab a drink from the table. Um, this is a more appropriate prom. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, I drink it back and I hold it in my mouth for, uh, for a second. And as it's in my, as the liquor is uh, pooling in my mouth, I hold it for a moment. And I use produce flame while I still have it to ignite the alcohol in there. And I lean back and I spit it upwards uh, in a in a, like a fountain cascade of flame and and alcohol. Hey, watch the next tube. Um, there is a there's a a loud unified gasp as everyone reels back seeing the flames, but they are uh, they are shocked and surprised and caught off guard. But they do find it beautiful and. You, you, they seem to be interested. They're still very confused as to what is going on. The apology I wanted to make was that I hadn't shown you all I could do that yet. So thank you for your attention and return <clears throat> to your meal. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, oh wait, no, I still need it. I still need it. Keep, keep your eyes on me. Look, you know what? Instead of kids, why don't we just apologize to these frog folk and maybe like social media will sort of spread it. You know what I mean? And, and don't forget to mention the taper tots. <laughs> all right, so, so wait, before you do, Repeat after yeah, me. I'm with it. Okay. Um, say, so, uh, you know, uh, at Carnival La Crew, our goal was always to pass on joy to child and adult all around Avantress. Is that gonna work? <laughs> the what? male fire genasi, while mature in years and age, was not in maturity <laughs> or spirit. Little did he know as he spoke to the frogs that despite being swampy, they are quite flammable. <laughs> and this might attract the natural predator of frogs. <laughs> the oh, dire <laughs> heron hydra. <laughs> For all naturologists who specialize in monsters, no. That it is very natural for Bollywog to be snapped up by a dire heron hydra. It's pretty badass, actually. <laughs> it is badass. And I'm going to spend my time talking about each and every Bollywog so you get attached to them and are very sad when they are inevitably <laughs> devoured. <laughs> Dormak and you're the ocean! <laughs> 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 Look at this NDA. That's that's Harold's wife. Isn't that amazing? Oh wow! It's oh. very sad. Does she know? I don't think so. She's really. Did, did we need to tell us? Were we supposed to tell us something? Um, I don't know. I don't want to interrupt her eating all of that grum so quickly. <laughs> She's slurping it down. She seems to be really enjoying herself. Let her. Let her. She's enjoy. a hungry girl. Yeah, oh yeah. Eat. She's a hungry girl. All let right. Her eat. That's her second bowl. Oh, Tolbeck, have you tried this trick? Yeah. Can I try? Anyway, get on with it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Be careful with it. When last we met, <laughs> I was a but the learner. Mm. Now I am the master. Frosty isn't much better. Right? Isn't this the greatest <laughs> thing ever? <laughs> oh. I like the unicorn. Okay. Um, <laughs> Drum 
limbs of the bugbear are actually a mating dance. I would have known this was the greatest prompt that Torbeck <laughs> could have ever done. The mating, the, the mating drumming of the bugbear is the universal sign that it is ready to breed. Uh, Usually it doesn't use its tube like that, but yeah, <laughs> that's the sound it makes. Yeah, you would know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, here's the thing, everybody, all right? Uh, here at you begin the... to say this as you feel the um, this need to do things and to to explain what is happening, uh, <clears throat> Wayne. From you, is the witch light seems to process out of your system really quickly, much more quickly than you would have expected, given how much was should have been in the food. <clears throat> oh man! But you are now Go standing on. in front of all of them. Go on, Kremi, ushering you on. Paper oh. Uh, oh, man, you another it. time I ended up on the table right in the middle of dinner. <laughs> Fuck. Made from real taper. Just, what the just, hell? Just, just repeat what I said before. Remember that? Uh, my, uh, well, here, here's the deal, everybody. I, uh, here at Carnival La Crew, uh, we work for you, and uh, we like to you know, have, make sure the kids have a good time. And, That's right. uh, That's right. you know, uh, well, we're sorry, I think. No, no, no. Oh, Krimi, clearly we as, missed the mark. Krimi, as you begin to say this, you also feel, nice. you also feel the witch light leave your system. Clearly we missed the mark on uh, what we were attempting no, to shut do. Shut the fuck up! Oh, no, I'm gonna pull my pull the shit again. I have an announcement. I have an announcement. <laughs> we did not miss the mark. Fuck! <laughs> Everyone, stop looking at me. Everyone, close your eyes. Good deck, good deck. Made for real, yeah, yeah, made for for real paper. paper. No one would stop looking at him. Taper. And they were all thinking, what a fool. Everybody loves Taper <laughs> It's at this point that the rest of you also feel the witch light oh. leave your system. Oh, this is the greatest thing Tormek's done with this. <laughs> the, the stupid goblin who cheats at Marshall the Scattering stands over the slain Taper and <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Taper tons. What was I thinking? That's the worst of both worlds. <laughs> Soggy and crispy? It doesn't make any fucking sense. And the chips would all fall off in the bag. Yeah, yeah. fucking stupid out yeah, here, no, that's not Tater the tots on their own can't even stay together, let alone if they were tapered to a point. Oh, can't make an entire man. business based on one stupid pun, that's for sure. <laughs> if we need to do better, we'll be doing an internal review. Did I fucking write this? <laughs> Trash. Oh, man, I don't know what the hell was going on. I was, uh, you know, I thought we had to make an apology, and I'm no good at apologizing for stuff, you know? Because I don't ever take responsibility for it, so I don't think I've had to do it before. And then I was on the table, and, man, we were committed. No, they will. They match this one for one. There's definitely drugs in this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's probably our high tolerance why I wore off so quickly. I mean, half the time we're just walking through the swamp, fucking waylaid for goddamn hours. I think we should just pretend to eat the rest of the food because it's just. At this point, just more you're drugs. delivered the, uh, the, uh, Beaselberry pie. Oh, this we can eat. No drugs in this. <sighs> oh, yum! <laughs> Oh, Krammy, this is fantastic! You oh. deserve to win! Mm. That was a great idea. Couldn't have done it without you, Twig, if you're here. <laughs> <laughs> here. I just wish I was watching the 1999 film The Mummy Storm Brendan Fraser, but that's okay. Amen to that. Oh, I don't that. know any of those words. <laughs> She's licking frogs again. That's our Twig. You know? <laughs> All right. <laughs> that is actually one of the problems Derek wrote up, is your character would rather be doing, the only thing your character would rather be doing right now is watching the 99 film, The Mummy Starring Martin Fraser, and that's what Twig rolled on the table. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Derek. It's a great film. Yeah, it's one of my favorite movie major images ever. Yeah, they don't make them like they used to. They really don't. You know, that, they have an error, really. There are just so many cheeky jokes in here, and I just really like it. Well, have you seen the 2001 film Disney's Jungle Cruise? Starring Emily Blunt and Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I mean, even if I had, I'd still rather be watching the 1999 major image called The Mummy Star and Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weisz. You know, I wouldn't blame you. I know me either. 
Anyways, <laughs> I always thought it was pronounced waves. I don't know. Hmm. Is that true? No, no, I'm pretty sure it's wise. Okay, that's what I found. <clears throat> what happens after the pine, do you think, Twig? <laughs> well, hopefully it's not death. Well, based on everything what I know about hell? this fairy from Julia's mind, it very well could be a nightmare death of Lovecraftian proportion. My guess is everyone's going to go to bed. Oh. Arr. You know, rural folks, they get real tired real quick. King doesn't even make any kind of announcement or doesn't say anything cool. Or... No, probably not. Well, <laughs> man, oh. no, no way me jumping up on the table is going to be the only announcement that happens all night, Looks right? Looks like it probably will be. Oh, fuck. Well, they're definitely going to remember it now. Well, now I feel foolish. I was going to go to Mogo and ask if she heard about the play. Oh, yeah, no, we should do I that. don't think anyone's going to gain access to that high table with all those guards around. Do you think that if we clink our glass, some of them have to kiss? <laughs> you could try it. <laughs> what frosty? What? What? Who? People start making out all over the room. Oh, wow. That's, <laughs> that's remarkable. <laughs> ah! Ah! Hmm. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... Oh, they're really going at it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's this first base? This is getting steamy. Made. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That went to first base like a right away. Thank God Julia and Bobby aren't here. <laughs> well, where do you think that they went? I mean, I know that they uh, inhabited us for a brief time. Uh, all of yeah, us, these no, chefs. from what it sounded like, you just became them, but that they actually existed in the same timeline somewhere else. So... Were they borrowed from their existence and in some other part well, of the Feywild just, there was a frost? Uh, or maybe a, just a duplicated, I don't know. Mm. I don't know how it works. I'm not the one who made potion frost. I made a the bird pot with Krimi. I would like to learn the answers to these things. They always confound me, the mysteries of the Feywild. Yeah, you know what's really nice, though? Is we're just having dinner. There's nothing else special going on. It's actually true. Oh, that's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> this is actually very relaxing. Yeah, because I feel like most of the time, everything we're doing, it leads somewhere. No one has a bigger point and a grander design, but right now we're just eating dinner. About damn time. I hadn't eaten in 20 minutes. I'm famished. <laughs> oh my god, a dire hair in the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh gosh, I thought I was kidding. Oh, oh, oh. No, I was just joking. There isn't a dire hair in that room. Oh, I know, because I'm looking around and there isn't one for sure. Oh, well, perhaps we can actually just go to bed and. I could even meditate, we could have some Oh, that would be quiet. so nice to go to sleep. Perhaps read. And not have any horrible I nightmares. Mean, well, dinner's over, like, look at all of these people leaving and heading back to their places. They're probably gonna go bang. And, well, certainly that. Uh, <laughs> After what they did here, yeah. Uh, yeah. Given all the drugs, I mean. <laughs> they're they're blitzed out of their fucking minds. Yeah. She picks up a toad and starts to lick it. Uh, oh, this has been a weird night. Yeah, I uh, think they all like pair up, or like sometimes there's odd numbers, <laughs> maybe more than a couple. You seem awfully curious about this particular <laughs> facet of the meeting like, habits. Uh, just like to learn about other cultures. Hmm. And that's all. Well. I think we accomplished good today. Didn't we 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 managed to free Morgo? Well, we woke up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then we went into the Shrem, and then Gringo turned into a mud method. Yeah. That was today, wasn't it? That was today, yeah. yeah. We met oh, the... yeah. Frosty <laughs> fell down that hole. We're going to drown them all. We met the mud oh. method king. Oh, oh, dang. And then we found Tell I turned into Gloppy on <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah. no, we, we, we fought, we fought uh, 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 Ragnaros. Yeah, we, well, we, we, we killed all those rabbits and committed war crimes. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Last night, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly. It's been a very long day. 
Guys, yeah, perfect been through a lot. Okay, let's just no. I wasn't. I wasn't <laughs> castigating you. Wow, we've like, really <laughs> formed the deep bonds of a familial friendship yes. in like ten hours. This is the Feywild. Literally, <laughs> only a day has happened here, and months have gone by in the real world. <laughs> Somehow, sloppy gloppy returned. <laughs> it is, as you were having this conversation, you have not been paying attention to the room around you, but it has nearly completely emptied of all of the members of the Soggy Corps. Mm. All but the person who stands in front of you now. The two people who stand in front of you now. Morgo, the current Knight of Warts, and King Gullop the 19th. Morgo looks out to you, and she extends her hand to each one of you to shake it. Thank you so much for what you've done. King Gullop explained about the play. The opera that you put on for me to save me. Yeah, that was Griffith's idea. It was brilliant. Did you did you hear about the prop? Did you hear about the whole thing? Did you hear I about the music? Did, and so much of it were grandiose lies. Well, I mean, but I don't know if it was all lies. Of it, I mean, I feel like it was mostly true. It was a true knight's tale, and I would have done all of those things. And I had the opportunity. So it's true from a certain point of view. <laughs> yes, it is true from a certain point of view. But ah, I can't say thank you Linda. enough. You're very welcome. We would gladly perform a chivalric romance that, play any time for you. You notice that King Gullop is like nodding off and falling asleep. Um, next to him, Snoodle is also falling asleep on his on his lead. Um, a few so of the cute. knights um, kind of hold him up a little bit, but he looks out to you and thank you for, for what you've done for all of us here, especially me. Um, oh, sorry, it's been a long day. It feels like a month. <laughs> yeah, you feel like a month. You gave me quite a bit of favor here in the soggy court, and I can't thank you enough, so... I had these made for you. Oh, well, it was the and least he... that Ribble, Mud Butt, <laughs> Pizzle Wizzle, Glorbo, and Aloysius could have done. Yes, and he hands, he hands you a small wooden chest. And oh. when you open it, inside of it, there are um, knight's standard ribbons. Ooh. They have a ribbon in, with, uh, in green and yellow stripes, and then a large fly in a beautiful uh, platinum medal um, that says um, uh, Honorable of the King. Oh! Ah. All right. These are for you. Kind of fit, um, this in. is not the song I would like oh. to play. It's something about Valhalla. Rimble! I cherish this forever! I cannot thank you enough. This will suffice to get you whatever you need while you stay in downfall. And though my next few days are quite busy, and I won't be able to be with you often, I hope that you will enjoy your time here. And should anyone give you trouble, should you run into any ruffians, I hope that you will show them this, so that they know that you are a friend of the king. Are you sure you have enough protection this evening? Yes, I have my lovely knights. They will guide me. Including Morgo. Including Morgo. Okay. She will be staying with me. She has been she has been dubbed the Grand Knight of the King. I just wanted to she make sure. She will be by my side at all times. There's a lot out there that could be dangerous to you. There's potential rebels. Yes. And dire will... hair and hydras. Uh, what? A uh, beazel. The, 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 the nightmares ah, continue. Yes, oh, we should mention that there are probably the animated beasel monsters in the nursery, but I mean, maybe that's been taken he care of already. Very no confused. way you can resolve that now. <laughs> <laughs> that's a place to destroy. That was like I, two will, hours ago. I will have someone look into it, but for now, Snoodle and I must go get a night's rest. My poor little boy, and he reaches down and scratches behind Snoodle's uh, eyeballs. Um, you know, got the eyeballs on the head. Scratch oh, 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 his not eyeballs. Like. <laughs> 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 My little man. <sighs> 
He is very tired, so we must yeah, away we to him. our room. But I do hope that come the morrow, that you will investigate these usurpers mm-hmm. that dot my kingdom. <clears throat> there are, are more riches and honors to be won. Should you help me? Well, we have a lead, is what I'll say. That is good to hear. And should you need anything, you know where to find me. The doors of the soggy castle are always open to the friends of the king. And and I do implore you to stay the night. Um, you may head back to the room that was outfitted for you, and we'll make sure that it is more than comfortable for you this evening to get a solid night's rest. Ah, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it was not intended. Oh, I got it. Uh, I got that one. Uh, <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, well, Snoodle, let us go. Sharp as a Lead tech. the way. And oh. you see as Snoodle gets up onto his legs, he looks tired, he opens his little mouth and yawns, and then he slowly turns and scampers away. Um, as the king is king. kind of pulled along. I'm s I am can not stop, Snoodle's king, pulling me. King, one one last thing. Do you have any forties? He keeps going. I'll have my tax policy ready for you in the morning. Wait, what's forties? <laughs> Why would he have four D's? Forties <laughs> what? Yes, yeah, Grim. Uh the Grego uh, uh, forties. What do you say? We gotta fit it out. We gotta figure that out. <laughs> They gotta figure it out. Well, we, gotta, I, we gotta get those. those I'm not guys sure back. What, what you're trying to say to the king, but <laughs> I really must go. I, I need to protect him this evening. There are still many about that would that would do him harm. I would imagine uh, that tonight is probably his most dangerous. And night. I promise I will tell no one what happened to those guards. That would be appreciated. <laughs> yeah, and by the, him and the vendors. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's a mess over there. And anyone else that was in the swamp was not our responsibility. When they came to collect me, I did a bit of investigation myself, and I'm not quite sure what happened exactly. It was a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> it looked to be so. Regardless, I will take care of it. You please stay safe, yes? That's what we do best. And if, if you see Wigglewog... Will you let him know that I'm here, and that? Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. I yes. Will. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Don't I say another word it. about it. Just we got it. Okay. Oh yes. My. Yes. Yeah, it's. Oh, it, got it. Handle. Yes. No it problem. Yes. It should go and say. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Let him know that I'm here. Your dear and friend. And I miss him Google greatly. Log. And you know, just keep an eye on the king. All right. Like we went through all this fucking. <laughs> this whole afternoon <laughs> of effort yes. uh, to opera. make sure he stays alive and obviously to get you your freedom. But you know, I think you know, I think this king's got his head on his shoulders, and let's keep him around if well, we can. He's he's about to disappear down the hallway. We should go. Oh yeah, yeah thank you I'm... again. And she shakes all of your hands. It was lovely to meet it's you. Nice to meet you, your knightliness. Good night. And she scampers away. You are left alone in the dining hall. Uh, but there is a Bullywug Knight that is ready to escort you to your room should you decide to retire for the evening. I propose that we head back. Yeah. I would like to lie down. It's been a long fucking day. Yeah. Kick the feet up for a bit. Yeah, this empty venue with all these streamers around makes me want to sing a Billy Joel song, but... <laughs> you mean a Bully Joel? A Bully Joel song. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yes, let's head back. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I, Uncle Globo taught me a thing or two on how to, you know, mm-hmm. to stroke the keys a little bit, you know? I mean, I know nothing of singing unless you have one of those potions on you. <sighs> I drink mine. No. Oh, no, I didn't drink mine. No. I never got one. No, I took three. Because uh, I wanted to sound like a witch, and I thought if I sang too nicely, I went, like, oh, she's the greatest character. And I'm like, no, <laughs> it's fucking Scavifer. <laughs> we were <retire. laughs> I mean, it is, it is with the, you are making your way to the room. As you okay. speak. You're good at scheme and plotting and uh, deception. We need to find a way to break the news uh, to Morgo about what's actually happened, or I'm just going to tell her. Why would we need to be coming up with a scheme for that? 
Would you propose that we just tell her then? I mean, at the end of the day, it's not like we did it. We just have to explain why we didn't tell her until now. Well, we didn't really check to see if he was dead or alive, you know what I mean? Just kicked him off the tower. No, he was dead. Well, well I mean, that's... Kill flies on him, <laughs> Gideon. <laughs> well, were there? I think. <laughs> Well, it's been a very long time. The very dragon told me he was dead. I just took his word for it. Oh, did none of us check? Yeah. <laughs> Listen. I'm still alive. <laughs> oh, I'm just mostly dead. Oh. You Wait think, a you minute. You think back to that day. I feel like I remember that, that, that the snakes themselves were venomous and that it's possible that they had a poison that could cause someone to seize up and appear dead. You Venom. mean to tell Torbeck that Wigglewog is dead <laughs> <laughs> this whole time? No, not the whole time, man. He might have been alive when we got to him. <laughs> Torbeck is open to me, Wigglewog! What? Yeah, you can probably what? still meet him. You can definitely still meet him. You just can't <laughs> have a conversation with you. That's where we'll end the session. Amazing. Oh, oh, that's 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 pretty shit. fucking funny. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Holy From fuck. From a certain point of it's view. It's been one day. Yeah. Well, I could go for a crunch wrap supreme. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> the Taco Bell. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're not done. What's next? My brain is Whoever. fried. Evantress and chill. What is that, Derek? Uh, Derek, what is it? <laughs> We're going to talk about it. Everyone knows what Evantress and chill is. We're going to talk about our favorite moments, talk about the session and the campaign, and we're going to answer your questions. She won't go anywhere. So don't go anywhere. Coming up this Friday is Icebound. Hell Holy yes. shit. It is the climax. It is the ultimate episode of Arc 2. Oh, is that confirmed? Which name... Derek confirmed that, right? It's, it's the climax. It's oh. The climax oh, 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 oh. It is the climb. We're going to be climaxing on Friday. The old Olam tape. Uh, and it, once again in a group. Arc finale. Not the first time. Crazy. Not the campaign yeah. finale. <laughs> this is the end of arc two. Yeah, and, and the name will be revealed on Friday. The well, the name of arc two will be revealed. Yeah. Uh, beginning or end of the session? Beginning. Ending. Ending. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Fine. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I can, see, I can see both ways. We're gonna see if yeah. you survive first. Yeah, yeah no, no, that's no. true. People are just gonna tune in to find out the thing, and then they're gonna bounce. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I don't care about it. I came for the secret <laughs> word thing. That's why I watch. Uh, I've been so invested for all these months. <laughs> I know the word. <laughs> Fuck the <this. laughs> Um, and then we're back again on Wednesday uh, for Once Upon a Witchlight. Any Patreon stuff coming up, or no? Uh, there is one last thing. Uh, not for a few oh. weeks, but I will have the announcements. Uh, we're going to have an announcement for Patreon stuff. Yes! And on we have a new sponsor, Aura. <laughs> Go get a free trial. You can. They will tell you if you have a free trial. They will tell you if your shit is online and got leaked on the dark web. That's VPN, right? VPN. 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 They got, they got anti antivirus. 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 We can put the links. Even below in the, in the Twitter. Yeah, there it is. It's in the oh, it's chat. In the, it's in the thing. I say you can put it on Patreon. It, right? it really like, helps like the channel happen. if you sign up for a free trial. Oh, so I always appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, it helps yeah, the yeah. time. Try it for two weeks. Yeah, thanks, give it a try. Thanks, the right. HTTPS is actually critical. So yes, it's for secure. Yeah, um, it's very secure and very well, legal. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cut over. <laughs> and with that, do we want to thank people before we cut oh, off? Yes. Oh, yeah. real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Come I'll on. see you in the uh, chat. Just the just the D uh, gifted at least two subs. Uh, our thing is bug, so it, there might just be more. Haji. I'd say it could be just Haji. Oh, just Haji. Oh, just, not just. It's hard to know the letters yeah. together. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah, know yeah, the yeah. You don't know the the separation. Uh, just Haji and Gigo Chip resub. Thank, thank, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. We appreciate all of your support, everyone. And with that. Let's share.